maybe. Possibly. Perhaps? Sure, we're ready. Let's go. Continue. <laughs> Let's get this freaking show on the road, dude. Uh, we're in the final world, which is actually pretty exciting. Um, there should be a shop around here somewhere that's, like, really good for us. I don't know if it's something we have to unlock or if it's just automatically unlocked or what. And from what I've been told, this world is smaller than the other ones. So, like, it shouldn't take as long. I don't know, it's still looking pretty big. I don't I don't know for sure like how that stacks up against the other ones, but it's still seeming pretty big. Um Okay, this doesn't seem to be where we build at though. So do we build in here? I would have thought this would have been like the dungeon. But when I press select, nothing happened. Unless I'm misremembering how you get into the menu, that's possible. Or maybe we just had to get the cutscene here first. I don't freaking know, man. I have no idea what's going on. Although this does look kind of like a buildable area with how just open it is. Maybe we're building like a throne room or something. Instead of a town. It looks a little throne room-esque to me at least. Hello, mystery dude, that I still don't quite understand who the hell you are. But apparently we've met at some point. I'm guessing, he, or he can like take different shapes, huh? So he's disguised as somebody else. You'd come, I knew you could make it. He was born here in this castle long, long ago. This is where the 400 year old nightmare began, and the monster was created by me. Dick. So wait, did he like. Okay, he's gonna tell the story. It was 400 years ago, the terror of the East and the West were still at war. I was the king of the East. I fought the West to defend the people. The scope of the war grew, and at last, the pivotal battle to decide the destiny of the kingdom began. Pressed by the wizard's army of the West, I had to make a decision. I could see our defeat on the horizon. Then a dark lord came to me with a deal. If the blood of a witch is mixed into a human body, a terrible power is born. If you use this power, your victory is assured, he said. He probably used me as an experiment to see the effect of the mixing of blood, to see what terrible power it would create. I had to make a decision to protect the people of my kingdom. My magic power grew a hundred times over. It was a terrifying force. I used that force and destroyed the army of the West, but I had a price to pay in the dark blood that ran through my veins. Not long after that, there was an incident, a tragic one. My heart, filled with grief, began to change. Something was born inside of me. It grew great and frightening, then finally emerged. Its power was absolute. No one could stop it. Its blind furry... Furry? <laughs> ah, its blind fury burnt even the countries of the East. This how Genie was born. <laughs> this how Genie was born. <laughs> Not this is how, or this was how. Just this how. This how Genie born. <laughs> I searched fiendishly for ways to erase my error, the Dark Genie. It was then that I discovered the stone called Atlamilla from an ancient book. It is a precious gem created by the Earth only once an eon. I learned through a premonition that Atlamilla would appear in 400 years, this era. I used a forbidden spell to travel 400 years to this time to attain Atlamilla, that legendary gem. Believing that Atlamilla could seal off the power of the Dark Genie. Atlamilla is a link to a different dimension, and it's the shining stone on your arm. It's a link to a different dimension? So wait, are you just trying to send the genie to another dimension? Wouldn't that just mean that he would, like, cause terror in that one instead of this one? I mean, I guess maybe if it's just, like, an empty one or something, then who cares? Moon people were able to seal the young genie. In the urn, genie gained power and was able to influence the world. You know very well what happened. However, now, even with the power of Adlamilla, we may not be able to stop him. He's a force of pure evil, but his aim is not to destroy the world. His intent is to send his will through time to every age. To take over history by sending parts of his essence to each age, he's a terrifying being. I created a true monster. Stream, Dark Genie is the embodiment of pure negative energy. He doesn't live, so you can't kill him, but you can change the history of his birth and erase his being. For that... Oh. Bruh dying, huh? I have no time. The dark blood running through me is taking over. If he controls my mind, I'll no longer be me. Oh, so wait, are we literally gonna like travel back in time and just murder this dude or something? <laughs> Seta, it's too late. It's no use. Stop resisting. Give yourself to me fully. Your body, mind, and power. Oh. 
Chocobo, hello, sir. Cross the gallery of time and enter his age, and with the power of Atlamilla. I can't give up this body yet. Oh. <laughs> Bye, bro. <laughs> Jesus Christ, dude. I'm the. the yep, that's how I am. <laughs> I hardly slept. My head's killing me. It's a great day. It's a good time. Gallery of time. Now I take the steps on my long journey. Open the door and guide my spirit. How goes you, sir? I hope all goes well. Forbidden spell. That kid won't be able to cross the gallery of time. Pity he has to die in vain. Walk into the cursed past. Erase his existence. I trust you will know what to do there. Follow the fragments of memory I left in the gallery of time. They will show you what you need to do. Now, go. Okay. I guess we'll be going. Fantastic. I haven't been up for 20 hours. Also, that wasn't you playing Sims 4 at like 8 o'clock in the morning or something. 7 o'clock in the morning. <laughs> Bro, get some sleep. I tried to go back to sleep. I'll be honest, like a little over an hour ago, <laughs> I tried to go back to sleep, man. Because I was just, mm, but I, I couldn't. I wasn't having it. My body was like, nope, you're not sleeping today. So I guess I guess this is us right now. <laughs> I didn't get no sleep. I did get a little bit. It was just like, I slept for like an hour and then woke up and then slept for like an hour and then woke up and then slept for like another hour and then that was it. That was the end of it. Five years ago. So wait, is each floor going to look different this time or is it all going to be the same dungeon like before? It's like we traveling through. I guess we just traveling through time though, not through space, huh? So it probably is going to be more or less the same. Well, nothing's really changed. We still want to use this bro, to the best of my memory. Hopefully we have stuff. I guess I didn't think to, like, check and make sure we actually had repair powder and crap. I'm sure it's fine, though. We got the power of machine guns on our side now. <laughs> like, we really don't have to worry about a whole lot anymore. It's just the biggest worry for us now is losing our freaking weapon. Clock hands. Okay, I'm assuming that's the item we need to get into the next area. That would make sense. You feel your pain? Yeah. No sleep, gang, gang. <laughs> Who needs sleep, bro? Nah, fuck that. I would love to just like sleep for the next week. That would that would actually be wonderful. I need to be in like one of them studies, you know, where they just put you in a house all alone for a month or whatever and see how you react psychologically, see how you do and whatnot. That's what, that's what I need. I need some scientists to pay me to do that and to see the horror in their eyes as I go into a deep hibernation for a full month, <laughs> like, only awaking to, to pee and drink water. <laughs> like, don't even do that awake, man. I just do that asleep. I figure out how to how to pee and drink in my sleep. You've had six Red Bulls? That sounds terrible. I hate Red Bull. <laughs> I hate the taste of it. I can't do energy drinks anymore. They make me feel like crap. I have a tea though. Oh, you bastard. Okay, you're dead. Yeah, I have a I have a the the I don't remember what it's called. Brain no work. Brain dead. Try Earl, Earl, I have an Earl Grey tea. There we go, that's the thing. I've been slowly drinking that. Because uh, I haven't had any caffeine at all today and I don't drink much, I hardly drink any caffeine at all, but I have been drinking diet tea lately, diet green tea. Um, so I was like, maybe that's part of the reason for my headache and whatnot, so I just made a tea. They make me feel like crap too, but only if I stop drinking them. I had that problem once upon a time. <laughs> I, I get it. Fun's decreased, yeah, whatever. Just set up an IV and a cath? Hell yeah, dude. You gonna come change my catheter bag? Swap out the tube for me every week or so? I don't know how often they need swapped out, but like... <laughs> 
just break into whatever house the scientists are harboring me in. Swap it all out for me so I can just freaking die for a month. I'm not saying it's a bad plan. I'm just saying we might need to work on it a little bit. That's all. Browning day. So wait. What are we collecting exactly? Because they... Uh, I assumed it was going to be stuff for a throne room. But crowning day? That sounds more like a moment in time. So is the whole thing like... Thi thi time themed? What was the other stuff that we got so far? A fragment of Seta's memory. Okay, yeah. So we're like collecting his memories. Huh. Interesting. Wait, are we maybe not building out a room or a village or whatever? Maybe we're opening up new, new like destinations in the portal or something. Just an open cap out the window. Hell yeah, there we go. <laughs> no need to switch bags, dude. Just don't walk under that window, that's all. You're gonna have a bad time if you do. But fuck it, I'll be passed out. What do I care, right? I think we were... Yeah, okay, we're leveling this one up so that we can pump it into this one. Have we actually tried this gun at all yet? Is it good? It seems the same. Okay. So we'll just leave it like that. Oh, there's an Alamilla here. Switch! I'm actually fairly surprised that Pokemon got picked. I don't think anybody here really, like, saw the picking. But it got picked twice in a row. It was the, like, demonstration roll. Wait. Is this... This isn't even water. This is just stained glass. Anyways, it was the demonstration roll and the actual roll. I was very surprised. I wasn't upset about it at all, but I was surprised. Just because, like, Pokemon Red Nuzlocke had, what, like, 100-something? So it certainly had a fair few. But not when you compare it to, like, Resident Evil 4. Uh, Pets 2, I don't think, I've taken down yet. So, like, you know, there were just much other stuff much 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 more likely picks vanilla we got pokemon toys pumped with energy now that every enemy is dead we pumped with energy let's go <laughs> Fuck. Ha. bed we got a bed i could use a bed how about instead of like finishing Dark Cloud, we just have a sleep stream, right? Where all of us just go the fuck to sleep. I'll just like put down my blue screen back here. Wait, getting thirsty? Did I not step in the thingy? Ugh. I must have only did it with the with me, the main dude. Anyways. Um, yeah, I'll just, like, put down the thingy here. I'll sleep on stream, and then you guys can all just, like, pass out wherever you are. It'll be like a slumber party, but on the internet. <laughs> and we'll actually be slumbering. We can play some games afterwards. It'll be fine. We can launch up some, like... Y'all got Switches? We can play Mario Party on uh, N64 Online thing. It'll be a great time. Okay, before we go through the portal here, though, let's see... Do we have... Okay, we have some repair powder. We have a little bit of food. Actually, a decent amount of food. A bit of water. Okay, yeah. So we should be good to go down, like, another floor or two, I'd say. I don't think that'll be a problem. I'm currently in a grocery store? That's fine. Just pass the fuck out in the grocery store. Put hands on the clock face. Touch the clock face. <laughs> what do you want from me, game? To the next floor? No? Okay. So it's not quite what I was thinking then, because I was thinking that we would have to, like, use the Atlamilla stuff to unlock each new floor, but nope. 
it just seems to be doing it on his own, so... I mean, it still obviously has something to do with his memories. Just not in the way that I thought it might have. No, weapon, that's what I wanted to do. You're about ready to level up. I don't know if we have anything equipped to it at all or not. I've kind of given up on Super Steve, though. As much as I want it, I just don't see it happening before we get through this last world here. If we were going to do the post-game content, then maybe, but... And as of right now, at least, it doesn't seem like that last shop has opened up. The one that's supposed to have the really good stuff. The things that slot into the attribute slots or whatever. Hello! Hydrate! Hydrate comes Lily in a little glass vial. Hydrate. Sorry, I'm working very slow at the moment. I am tired. I am dead. My head is dead. It's good time. I took Tylenol and I'm drinking tea. Hopefully it'll sort itself out soon. <laughs> uh, I just need like... You know, earlier I was saying a one month nap. Now I'm thinking like a three year nap. Three year nap sounds wonderful. <laughs> Just like a temporary coma, me, please. Let me wake up and like that that pod that Fry fell in in Futurama. Just throw me in one of them for a bit. Let me wake up in the year three thousand. See what shit's like then, bro. Why can I not hit Billy? Billy invisible. Uh, okay. I thought Billy would like pop back up. I thought maybe he just turned invisible for a second or something. I didn't think he was actually gone. Well, goodbye, Billy. It was nice knowing you, friend. I'll never forget the way that you blew up into a ball of electricity that did nothing. The cursed dancers make sense, right? Because that's like what they use to bring back the genie. But what's with what's with the the Billies? Who who's Billy? Why Billy? Got to remember how to play the game. We got this. You customize. Um. Oh, you don't even have your thingy on you right now. Probably because your attack is maxed already. We'll save the thunder for the thingy just in case we for Steve just in case we are able to get him set up. And it seems like you're mostly fire. So I guess we'll put fire on you, too. Upgrade! Yes? I don't remember if upgrade was what I thought it was. Uh, that means we can status break it. Should we just go ahead and status break it now? We'll use it up first. Get a couple more, like, kills with it. Sun burns out early and somehow your pod survives. Let's go, dude. Wake up in a universe with no sun? That sounds like a dream freaking come true. What are you talking about? Like, <laughs> bruh. Have you met me? I like outside. I hate the sun. The sun is the worst part of outside. Except for when it's, like, pretty. Like, that's nice. But it burns the skin. <laughs> it hurts the eyes. It's just bad time. It makes it hot. Like, when I get in my car in the morning, I just want to freaking die. Because <laughs> the sun has warmed it up so much. So, like, nah. It's fine. Let the sun burn out. It's cool. Did we really need it anyways? Can I shoot through this? No. Okay. It was worth a shot, I guess. I need you, please. Do the thing. Give us a little spinny spin. I still don't really understand how this works, but... Like, because wouldn't that just distribute it? Instead of... Like, it seems like it's sucking it up or something. But, like, they're just is he sucking it up himself? Is that his actual secret? Like, he spins that... that he spins his rod around 
to collect it all up and then he just slurps it right in? Is that... Is that how he gets rid of the black mist? Like... It makes no sense to me, man. Because, like, if the black mist is filling the entire room here, then, like, surely blowing it around isn't going to actually help anything. So how how is it clearing it? It's just... I don't... I don't like it. It doesn't make sense to me. It kind of scares me a little bit. There's something. There's... there's. He's keeping some secrets from us. That's all I'm saying. I don't know if we can trust him. Actually, I take it back. I can trust him. He seems cool. Night of the ceremony. But it doesn't change the fact that he's keeping some secrets from us. He just needs to come clean already. Let us know what's up. So what is this on the map? Is it part of this? So, I mean, that's like the back room or whatever, but... Oh, is it just the pillar? It's just a pillar. Okay. I'm just stupid, that's all. Don't mind me. Hey, we got a map! <laughs> Thank fuck we got a map, man. I was so lost in here. I had absolutely no idea where we were going. It's not like I had a fully completed map already on the screen. My feather broke! Oh, Thank god I bought more. Let's go. Wait, didn't I have eight chickens before? Did I accidentally eat some chicken? Do one of the, like, creatures steal chicken? I'm very confused. I could have swore that I had more than six chickens, man. Oh, my hot bar up there. I know I got some cheese in my backpack. <laughs> Honestly, though, it sounds like something I'd freaking do. Just carry around six chicken wings. Uh, using a weapon reduces ABS. Okay, that's... Oh, wait, did it say weapons can't be switched either? So what happens if we... If we were to go here, and then status break that? I'm tempted to try it, but my worry is, is that it would switch us to this machine gun, which isn't terrible, but it's less than half as strong as the rest of it. But, like, I don't really care if the ABS goes down on this weapon, so it's fine. I guess we'll just have to wait another floor before we get our upgrade. It's not that big of a deal. I mean, and honestly, like, we have a couple upgrade powders, too. So, like, really, we don't need to worry about it at all. Living armor, fancy. Okay. Just because I don't care if the ABS goes down doesn't mean I want it to die. We should still be careful. Um, I completely forget what I was saying, so never mind. Bruh. Why is my brain like this? I have no idea what I was getting ready to say. I was thinking of something. But then I got sidetracked by something. And then Brain just died. Last Judgment? That actually looks pretty cool. Is that good? I mean, we can't switch to it. We can't use it, but still. Bro, attack of 99? Just straight off the bat? Endurance 45, speed 48? That's a really good freaking weapon. What is this? Hold up, I gotta look this up real quick. Is this like an end level weapon? Can you just straight get end level weapons? I thought you would have to upgrade to them. Ooh. But this looks like a freaking end level weapon. Um, Goro. Oh no, okay, it's not. It's second to last level so it's an upgrade of the frozen tuna though well one of the upgrades from the frozen tuna holy crap though just straight out of the bat with 99 attack 
What other stuff does it have? 10 of everything. Oh, this would be so good to put in Steve. Because <laughs> he's got 45 of the thing. Of the anti-undead, 20 of the metal, 20 of the mage. But it's also like by far his best weapon, so we can't get rid of it now. Just in case we end up having to use him. But like, unless weapons can... Because like, it, it can't go over 99, right? Oh, it can. The bar looks like it's full, man. Like, it's overflowing. <laughs> I didn't even know the things could get into the triple digits. Okay. Uh, we were saving this. Ah! Oh! <laughs> no, game! Why would you do that? I <laughs> I was specifically trying to save that. Oh. I. I. Mm, when I hit over, I thought it would like wrap down to the next line or wrap around back to the top or something. I didn't realize it was going to go straight into the trash. I was. I was literally saving that. That's. That's actual garbage. Oh, well. Guess it is what it is! Anyways, we still got a really cool weapon! <laughs> now, if only we can get weapons like that for Ruby. I feel like the main dude, I think he has a pretty decent weapon or two. Um, I actually watched that video this morning, Chocobo. It was one of the, the many things that I had on while I was trying to sleep, but absolutely could not sleep. Uh... <laughs> And, like, saying they found a way to bring Aerith legit is kind of misleading, though. I don't know if you watched the video yet or not, because it is still a glitch. It's not, like, an Easter egg or anything like that. It's not something that was intentionally put in. Okay. Um, but, yeah, like, you can actually use her for the entire rest of the game. Um, no strings attached, except you have to, what was it, four cutscenes? That you have to take her out of the party before you do those like four cutscenes or whatever. Lele attack just redeemed hydrate. Um, otherwise the game like soft locks. Ah, uh, tea. My tea's cold already. I could have put it on my warmer, but like the tea warmer's all the way up there. So like, <laughs> screw that. I guess. I don't know. I don't want to go all the way over there. I have to lean up every time I want to drink. I was trying to switch characters. I forgot. Um. Yeah, no. I'm very tempted to do it, though. I'm not going to lie. Whenever we play... Uh, maybe. <laughs> Whenever we play through Final Fantasy VII, eventually, we might end up doing it. Oh, you bastard. Stop guarding. It depends on... Why does it say my headphones are still dying? They're literally plugged in. What do you mean? Hold on one sec, guys. There's a quick glitch you should try to. Wait, in Final Fantasy VII or in this game? I'm assuming you mean Final Fantasy VII, because, yeah. It wouldn't make... I don't know, that's what we were talking about. Oh, so. that's why they weren't charging. They weren't plugged in. I forgot that I unplugged them because I, I had my I've been messing with my PSP lately one of my PSPs and I had that plugged in and uh, it uses an ancient mini type B cable so yeah my headphones weren't actually plugged in my bad quick glitch you should try Final Fantasy 7's intro what's that I mean I know what Final Fantasy 7's intro is of course but what's the glitch what's it do what's the point but I mean, I've played through Final Fantasy VII enough personally that I'm I'm down to do whatever stupid stuff that we can do as long as it doesn't like break the game. Like I don't want the entire game to become so easy that it's you know stupid or unplayable. That's basically that's basically it. I did have a lot of fun when I was younger, though. I used to. Uh, 
there was I had a code breaker. <laughs> Wait, what? <laughs> to make Cloud Giant on the negative X plane. <laughs> of course there is. The game I freaking love the game, but it is broken, man. Um the the glitch well, both the glitches, I guess. Do they work on the original PS1 version? Or do they only work on the Steam version? I'm pretty sure at least the Aerith one works on both, right? I'm pretty sure. The other one I don't know anything about, so I'm not sure. Um, but anyways, now I had a code breaker for my PlayStation 2 back in the day. And uh, you could use it as a cheat device, of course, but you could also use it to transfer saves uh, that you download off the internet. Both are PC slash Steam only? Aw, oh, that's too bad. For some reason, I thought that uh, the Aerith one worked on on PlayStation. I mean, not that it's that big of a deal. The versions are the same, you know, and the PC version works better anyways, so might as well use that one. But anyways, as I was saying, um, can't remember. Codebreaker. So I had downloaded a save that uh, would take you to the debug room. Um, which I think they figured out a way to get to the debug room since, like, just through breaking the game or whatever. But anyways, and, uh, yeah, so I'd go into the debug room and I would unlock, like, a crap ton of money to start off with. I mean, like, I don't remember exactly how many. I want to say it was, like, a million or something like that. It was a lot. That's all I know. And it was so nice on, like, repeat playthroughs because I could just buy everything I wanted to really quick and not have to worry about any of it. Like, not have to worry about cash at all. Oh, oh, bat, go away! Bastard! Scores day differently and gets fucky with Seven's legacy code. Yeah, I mean, that makes sense because the whole thing is on the, the Yuffie warp, right? That's how the whole thing works. Because they use the, the Yuffie save warp stuff to bring things from one save to another save. So I didn't watch it in depth because again, I was trying to sleep, but I did have it on in the background. So I did I did hear a bit about it. And uh, you ha I know you had to do that like three times, but you had to have the game state set properly in order for the game to not just die <laughs> or to have Aerith like actually usable because at one point you get her back into the party but she's not actually usable and like there's all kinds of fucky stuff with it but but anyways now I do own the game on Steam so yeah that's not a problem at all oh oh wait <laughs> you do everything Bro, you do everything. Let's go. Okay, so you sell Mage Slayer and Undead Buster. You just don't sell the metal one, which is really annoying. How don't you sell the metal one? Uh, is there anything I want to sell to you, though? You can have this and the stone that's worth, like, nothing. You can have the carrot. You can have that. The wind gem, and that's probably it. Yeah, leave, and then I also want to see items. Let's see so, wait. So you don't sell the things I thought you would. Maybe I have to like um. Oh wait, gems. Here we go. There we go. This is what we want. Yeah, so these gems are, like, really freaking good as far as upgrading your weapons go. Because they apply large boosts to multiple things. So this is what I had planned on saving as much money as I could for. To try and get Super Steve to be a thing. But the problem is, I think that even with these, we would still need... The... Um metal busters or whatever they're called i'm pretty sure i don't think this just like automatically gives it to us dark cloud gem guide i guess gemstones will it tell us what they do yes it does i don't know okay they do apply to that as well so like for metal so Opal would give us Metal, Mage, and Endurance. So Opal would give us 
two of what we need. That's actually pretty good. Diamond gives 10 metal and plus five to all others. That one might actually be better for what we need. Um, wait, can you just buy the sun gem here? No, okay. So yeah, we probably want to get like a couple of diamonds and we still need thunder too, don't we? Oh, and a pearl. Pearl gives thunder and undead. We need to check our weapon real quick. Weapon. We need Steve. Build up. So you need MP still too. Okay. MP, thunder, and then those three things. Oh wait, I thought we got you remixed in a way that was actually helpful. Maybe not, but we need a lot of metal, presumably. <sighs> okay, so MP, Thunder, and those three things. What's the best choice here? <laughs> so for MP, we have Sapphire, but nothing else is use useful. We have Emerald, but nothing else is useful. <laughs> So it might be better. Does he sell like plus threes or they're probably just plus ones, huh? Yeah, they're just plus ones that he sells. Lame. So it'd be 10 of those, which would be 3,000 plus more level up. So yeah, it would be the same. We might as well just buy an emerald or something at that point. Um, so we're going to need emeralds, I guess. Pearls. Pearl's the only one that does thunder, yeah. Pearl and then Diamond. Diamond, Emerald, Pearl. That's okay. Diamond, Emerald, Pearl. Diamond, Emerald, Pearl. First we need to check in items. So that's one. Two. I have enough to buy one more. <laughs> These things are expensive, bro. Oh, talk to you. Buy gems. So, diamond. Oh, yeah, I guess I need to sell you this stuff first, huh? So diamond, emerald, pearl. Pearl gives undead and thunder. That's right. I, I'm doing it because of the thunder. I was like, wait, wouldn't it make more sense to get the opal for the metal and mage? And like, yeah, it would, but we also need thunder. So diamond, emerald, pearl. So now if we go to weapon, you, not you, go to Steve, customize. That's a pretty decent looking boost right there. I'm just saying. It's too bad that our stuff got screwed up. Because imagine if Anti Rock, Mimic, and that was still on, like, the ones that matter. We'd be in a much better spot. And then Emerald, which doesn't help us here. Oh. Bro, that sucks. We only needed plus two more to hit max on MP. So Emerald's kind of a waste. That sucks, but whatever, too late now. And then you, which only takes us up to 21 thunder. I don't know how much thunder we need, but there's a good chance it's more than that. All right, upgrade. Well, hold on. If I'm gonna need to do at least like one more upgrade anyways, then we might as well save, what was it, the emerald. Because then we can just put two AP things on it. Or MP things on him. Uh, buy an attachment. Buy an MP attachment. So we can just put that on something else. No, not you. Go away. Weapon. 
not double impact. Steve. Customize. MP. Alright. Upgrade. Yes. Now, build up. Okay, so your MP's good now. Oh yeah, that's right. We get the plus one every time we level up, too. So yeah, no, it's literally, like, maxed out now. So that really would have been a waste. So we still need Thunder. And we still need all of the other ones. Um. Okay, Metal is and Mage are the two lowest. And Metal I need the most help in. So I guess we could buy an Opal. It sucks I bought that stupid Emerald. Because I could have... I could have bought two more Opals. Checking items. Buy another one of those. Uh, gems. I mean, and hopefully we get some decent drops and we can buy more stuff there too, but how much will you give me for like... So we don't need the frozen tuna anymore. Because that's like a base level weapon compared to the thing that we got there. I should have made sure it didn't have anything on it, but whatever. I guess we'll keep these other things because we don't know. Like, they could be good. We really should get rid of at least, like, one of your weapons. So these are, like, the good ones, right? This one's garbage, I'm pretty sure. Pretty sure the base lard's garbage. So at least he can carry a couple more weapons. Keep the platinum rings so we have nothing else for you. And we're definitely keeping yours. Okay. What was it again? Opal? Plus 10 to metal and mage. Yeah, so the opal. Weapon... Not you, you. Steve, customize. It would be really handy if we had like a times two spot or something, but I don't know when or if that's ever gonna pop up again. All right. God, metal's still only at 14. We're gonna need so much more metal, man. I can pretty much guarantee it. Do I use the upgrade powder? Well, no, I guess I don't have anything else to equip to it right now anyway, so there's no point. We should still have the Sun Gem somewhere, too, on one of the dudes, which is, I think, plus 10 to everything. I oh, know, we can't seem to... Georama parts. Assemble Georama in edit mode slash dungeon, not here. So wait, how do we get to edit mode, though? Is it outside? Maybe it is outside. Maybe we did have to see that cutscene first or something. Unless, can we really only do it in the dungeon this time? I've never noticed that it said dungeon before for the edit mode thing. Is it like the final floor of the dungeon? How do we get into edit mode? <laughs> Night of the ceremony. Bed. Bed is still my favorite part of his memory. I'm very confused. Whatever. Let's save in case something happens. But let's get back into this dungeon, man. Oof. Go to other areas so we don't have to walk as much. Please. Please and thank. Oh, wait, can we not teleport straight in anymore? Or is it the Gallery of Time? Oh, no, it is. Okay. It does seem like each memory is one floor, though. I didn't, like, check that closely, but... Wait. Oh, it does work in here. 
see. Oh, did we get to see like cutscenes? Ah, by law and my will, the crown is yours. He proclaims with his last breath, then I begged his lifeless form. Tell me, father, what should I do as king? That was short, but okay. Moon? Castle? Head? Porch and crown. It was the day of my crowning that I met you. Blue eyes catch mine once and then you vanish. Who on earth are you? Okay, it's interesting. So, I mean, if there's no building, then this should be... Oh, God. Run away! Run away! <laughs> um, <laughs> then, yeah, this dungeon should go fairly quickly, I think. Oh, that's right. I can't touch the Atla. I forgot how things worked. It's fine. Minister. Oh. <laughs> uh, give me gems or something from the box, please. Or map. Map's fine, I guess. Uh, this is the exit side, so let's go the other way first. Not gonna be, like, super optimized about any of it, but we can at least, like, a little bit. Ah, oh, mim- Oh my god, I can't- <laughs> God, I, so I don't know how to run away. And before I freaking break the thing right before we upgrade it. Wait, no, I have auto repair. We're fine. Still gonna try not to use the auto repair, but just in, just in case. It'll still be okay. God, I freaking hate mimics. The way they hop around and crap. Okay. Weapon, Jackal, customize. You have nothing on you. Perfect. Uh, no point in repairing you because I'm just gonna status break you. Yes. Perfect. Swallow. Customize. Can have you now. Which instantly takes everything to max on that screen. Perfect. And then... Well, oh yeah, no wait. Literally everything's at max. Emerald was for what? MP? So that's useless. Um... Sure, you can have some holy damage, because why not? I don't know. Honestly, I mean, holy sounds like it would probably be good against, like, the dark magician and stuff like that, so... I should probably equip an attribute to it at least, too, huh? Let's try holy. Why not? It's almost as high as the fire is. And all these creatures, they seem like dark, evil things, so... Again, Holy seems like a good choice, at least. I could be completely wrong on that, but... Thunder? <laughs> Bruh, get wrecked. <laughs> Seriously, as soon as the game introduces machine guns, like, everything else just freaking... <laughs> didn't matter anymore <laughs> like who wants to use spears or or slingshots when you just can run around with a machine gun or didn't he have did we have a cannon on him at some point too i feel like we did reunion in the storm that's nice <laughs> bed Bro, this dude really likes his bed, huh? That's where a lot of his memories seem to take place, which, honestly, fair. Same. I, too, really like bed. Bed is OP. Oh, hi, guy. Holy crap, okay. That was some damage. Ow. <laughs> Just random pain, no worries. Just dying. No biggie. There's a door. Oh. Wonder whose door that's gonna be. Is it gonna be a hammer door or a 
shoot it door or a, it looks like a spinny door or no wait I'm looking at the wrong door there's two doors unless are there keys on this dungeon I don't we haven't come across any yet that I No. but I mean I guess that doesn't mean there couldn't be in the future Mimics. <laughs> Hold on, actually, I just want to try Goro out, man, with his new weapon. Do we have the right thing equipped to you, even? No. Weapon. Where's Where's your fancy, dude? Equip this. Maxed out like 99. 170? Bro. Why couldn't we have this during, like, the last fight? That boss that we were fighting? Goro would have been OP as hell. There are keys. Okay. That's new. And there's only one chest and three monsters left, so... Suddenly, I don't hate Goro anymore. I mean, melee characters are still, like the hardest characters to use the most dangerous characters to use i guess rather i mean they are harder as well but it's more about the fact that like they just they get hit a lot more easily because they're melee but when you can dish out 170 damage per hit not too bad suddenly kind of into it At the very least, it doesn't suck to use him. So, like, if we get a cursed floor and we're stuck with him or something, it won't be so bad. Come here, bat. Oh, you bastard. Bastard! Okay. Huh. Oh, we still need revival powder, don't we? I think that's one thing we are missing. Are we taking six points of damage per... Okay, we need to repair this. Uh, six point of damage per tick on the freaking thing. So wait, you still need... the attribute stuff. Do any of these guys have that? You have a tiny bit. You have five. You're not bad, Double Impact 4. You have a couple of them that we need. You have basically nothing. Okay, so it must have been the, this one that we were working on. Uh, too bad we have, like, nothing to give you, though. I mean, until we level you up, we might as well give you stuff just to make you a little bit better. Thunder. Give you more thunder. And then I guess MP just to make the thunder better. Because we can still drop Synth Spheres into it. Gems aren't the only way we can increase the the power of it. It's just like one of the better ways if you have a crap ton of cash laying around, I guess. Which sadly we don't. Not anymore. It's all gone. We poor boys now. Oh, we forgot to look at the cutscene. It's fine. We'll do it on the next floor. It doesn't seem to matter what floor you do it on anyways. Oh, no, 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 don't leave. Georama parts. Wait. Oh, we didn't actually get everything this time. Huh. Okay. That's weird. I guess I just kind of assumed that we would keep getting, like, a full one per dungeon. Rash Dasher. I'll show you a rash dasher. Oh. He dashed. 
Oh, stop running, bro. I'm trying to murder you. I mean, still not bad. 50 per shot on our slingshot, like... Oh, okay, that's <laughs> significantly worse on the living armor, but it's fine. I guess what we should actually do, what would make it significantly better, I hate digging through the menu because I don't remember who has it, but one of you guys should have my sun gem, unless I accidentally, like, gave it to somebody. Oh, well, you don't need your crap anymore. Take those off. You have nothing, and speed and ice. Okay, you don't need it. We're not using you anyways. Same with you. I think we just had to use these just to get through a door. I think it's the only reason why he, they, uh, she had stuff equipped to her. You have nothing at all. You have some endurance. Steel hammer has mimic breaker. Trial hammer maybe? Just a bunch of ice. And we got a bunch of ice at some point, didn't we? Seems like everybody's got some ice on them. Oh, nope, go back. Magical hammer? There it is. The magical hammer. Okay. Temporarily. Double impact. Let's take off the th thunder and give the sun gem. So that'll give us a much bigger boost. There we go. Yeah, from 15 up to 22. Just from switching that one gem around. Of course, the faster we kill things, the less repair powder we need as well, and it's just it's just better all around. Nice. I love getting those, like, at a reasonable time. Whoa. That was scary. Okay. Nope. Not gonna risk it. Weapon, you repair. I mean, we do have upgrade powder. We could just use it. It would save us time, but I don't know. It feels bad doing things that way, man. Ooh, that's another big chest. Do you want to give us another, like, good thing game? Maybe? That looks pretty cool, at least. Scorpion. Attack 50, 35, 78. Mm, no. So the mm, Not really, I guess, huh? <laughs> it's worse in every way except it has the poison effect, which, don't get me wrong, that's pretty cool. Like, who doesn't want to poison their enemies? You also come pre-equipped with 12 anti-metal, which is neat. Um, but yeah, no, it's not really like anything great either. It just kind of is. Buggy. Is that the last of what we needed? No, we still need one more thing. We need Sophia. Okay. This is unexpected. I thought this would be the end of... I thought, like, there was going to be one more room. I didn't think there was going to be a whole other area. More anti-curse amulet? I mean, honestly, that's just money for us, so that's fine. I'll gladly take money. We can save up another 3,000. That's another gem, which is like, hell yeah. I miss the basically infinite endurance of the <laughs> of Steve. Steve B.O.P. One of you were about to die, weren't you? Because of poison or something? Was it Goro? I think it might have been Goro. Yeah. Well, he's good now. He's still poison, but... He's not dying anymore, at least. 
Another freaking big chest? Bruh. The game is just spoiling us at this point. Skunk? What's skunk? You good? You suck? 48, 55, 66, 20. Upgraded blessing gun? Spell emitting device. Uh, so it's not a machine gun then? It's like the magic gun that we had or whatever. Speed, MP, endurance. So it's not as powerful as the swallow was to start. I'm tempted to just turn it into a thing and throw it at Steve just because of the 25 thunder that it has on it though. Like, that's not bad. But I don't know, we'll see. Again, Steve isn't like my main goal anymore. Just because, you know, we're at the end of the game. So I think if I keep concentrating on Steve, I'm pretty sure I'm gonna have to end up like grinding specifically to get Super Steve, basically. And as cool as it would be to have Super Steve, it's not... I don't think it's going to be necessary to beat the game with. Again, maybe if we were doing post-game content, but I don't plan on it, so... Yeah, I just don't think it's worth the extra time and effort. We'll still obviously try to as we go through it, but... Not go out of our way for it, though. Open. Yeah. Sophia! Look at that. Okay, cool. Give me memory. I want to meet you again. That's all I can think of now. Then the minister rushed into my room in a panic. Princess's buggy of neighbor country is missing in the storm. <laughs> I reunited with you one hour after that. Bro, the way it words some of these things, like, I can't tell if it's poor translation or, like, character limits. I don't... <laughs> Princess's buggy of neighboring country crashed in storm. That's, like, that's not... That's not even a real sentence, man. That's just words. Sounds like some shit I would say. Wanna die, maybe? Yes. Thank you. It's very sweet of you to just die for me like that. Give me some XP and not murder me, you know? It was very handy, thank you. I was going to call the living armor kind of useless if you have a ranged character, but I guess they're not as useless as them dudes in the last one in the moon realm. The dudes that like literally didn't interact at all, they just stood there kind of twitching a little bit. They were extremely useless. <laughs> one more shot. Let's go. Hold on, Mr. Curse Dancer. I need to collect my gold and repair and then I can murder you. Don't worry. I haven't forgot about you. You're gonna die. No. You stupid. Stop blocking. Thank you. Block in, but we got chests. I'm really hoping for gems. I don't even know. Can you get gems from basic chests? Got some more revival powder, which is nice. I was just saying that we need some more of that. I don't think I ever remembered to buy some. Map. And repair powder. Okay. Last area is not really like necessary, but even Jao can't jump this. Okay. Back to machine gun. But we might as well get the XP, is what I was going to say. <laughs> We're like here, and it won't take long to kill these last few guys, so why not? Especially with the machine gun, man. May not be the most powerful weapon we have, but boy can it shoot. And it shoot fast. <laughs> it fast shoot. And it's not weak either, like 50 per hit. That's about the same 
maybe, or actually a little bit higher than what Zhao's doing, but again, with freaking rapid fire, man. Touch the clock face. Next floor. But I guess if it's not going to do one per floor like I thought it was, then there might be more floors here than I was thinking there would be. I mean, I guess we're only 66 years in the past and we're trying to get, what was it, like 300, 400, 400. I think it was 400 years in the past we're trying to get to. You're literally a playing card. You're also a bastard, it turns out. Okay. Some of the... Some of the creatures just don't make a ton of sense, especially, like, with where they have them. Why is there just a playing card monster in the castle? Is it because of, like, Alice in Wonderland and... The, the, the queen with her, her card soldiers? Swallow school. Weapon. Swallow. Customize. Um, yeah, no, I don't think... I think you're ready to just go. I don't think there was anything specific we were trying to do with you, right? Trying to get you more attack, endurance, and MP, but I think we did that already, yeah, when we equipped that. And then you don't need any of that. Wait, holy's active, but you have zero holy? Why do you have zero holy? Oh, you don't actually have zero holy. It just it doesn't show there in the build-up screen. It doesn't show there until like it's actually upgraded and applied. Then you need some of all of that. So, okay, that's good. All right, well, whatever. Upgrade, confirm. Now what do you need? Oh, so you don't need a ton, at least of some of the stuff you don't need a ton. Like, you already have enough of the undead thing. So, I don't know. Maybe we'll get to upgrade that at some point. That'd be pretty cool. Um, and I guess since you need, like, all of this stuff, we might as well just... doesn't really matter. Just throw everything on you. Some of those opals or whatever it was. Diamonds. A diamond would be really handy right now. Because it gives plus five to everything. I mean, if we had, like, a renewable way of getting suns, then that would be handy, too. Because it gives... Well, it only gives plus three to those, though. So not as many, but it's something still. It gives plus ten to all elements. But Swallow doesn't need elements. It's less important there, I suppose. Got our key already. Haven't even found the door yet. First campaign. Usually it's the other way around. We find the door first and then the key. Let's switch back to her, actually. Gun dude might be... Mmm, you bastard. Wait. Are you gonna be, like, super annoying, or...? Okay, it seems like if we walk towards you... Kind of like the one dudes. If we're walking towards you, you don't seem to flip around and go on guard. But if we just stand still... Oh, wait, we did find the door. We freaking spawned in next to it. Where's the exit? Oh, it's over there by the entrance. Okay, we might as well finish this first anyways. Um, yeah, no, if we, if we walk to it, then it doesn't seem to go on guard. Like it does if we just stand still and shoot or... Or kite it. It's really helpful info, honestly, just for our, like, own sanity. Double 
impact has taken extreme damage. Okay. Let's go. Ah, six? What? <laughs> AH6? I don't know what that means. I'm so confused. Help! What is, what is AH6? Action Hank. Ah, floor six. Okay. How many floors are there? Did you, like, look it up or anything? I'm curious. It doesn't really matter that much because, I mean, we're just going until we're done, but... You did? How many? I don't consider that a spoiler. I'm just curious. 25. Holy shit. Okay. So there's more floors than normal on this one. Uh, I mean, thankfully, we do go through the floors a little bit more quickly. One of the reasons why we're only on floor six is because we went back and, like, did some weapon grinding stuff. But now that we're broke, we're done with that, more or less. We are going to have to leave the dungeon again here after another floor, probably. To do just a regular shopping trip. Get some Dran's feathers and uh, repair powders and stuff, but we won't be screwing around with the weapons at least. So it should be pretty quick. Yeah, I think there's a good chance we don't make it to Pokemon today. Or at best, we like get our starter picked for Pokemon based off of that. But I'm gonna try to at least beat the game today. I really do like again don't get me wrong I'm really enjoying the game but I really do want to be done with it I want to move on to other games and before you're a king mimic no crystal ring okay so that should be for ruby is it any good though 38 40 64 55 much better than what we currently have on her at least Not, like, nearly high of a tier as that last judgment that we got for Goro. Or GoPro, as we like to call him. But still, not bad. Not bad. Horse Rider. Um, swap to you so we can get over the things on the floors. I mean, we could, like, instead of trying to level up Zhao, we could basically just use him because he just murders things quicker because machine gun and try to like not necessarily speed run it per se but we could get through it pretty quickly probably it's just while I may not want to go out of my way for it I do still really want super steve I don't know why but something about super steve just sounds freaking great to me oh wrong side bruh open the chest that's fine. I don't have a treasure chest key. That's not what it meant. Force open. Explosion. It's almost always explosion, man. Javelin? That looks like garbage. Thirty-eight, twenty-five, seventy. Yeah, no, that's... Compared to every other weapon we have, is garbage. There we go. There's what we needed. Another mimic is not what we needed. And you gave us nothing, thanks. How many repair powders do we have left? Do we need to leave now? We have three left. We should be good for one more floor. Especially since we can like swap between characters if we absolutely need to. So now we have, what, I guess three good weapons? Four if you count. The Sun Sword, which isn't terrible on uh, on the main dude. I mean, I guess technically Zhao has a couple that are decent. Reduces ABS and can't be changed. You're so close to leveling up, but you only need 76. You don't need much to level up, so it's not... I don't think it's worth wasting the thingy on. So we can always just use, or I would rather save our upgrade powder for 
the weapons that need, like, big amounts. Like Steve, as an example. Switch to you. I'd rather use him on this floor, too, just for the fact that I don't mind him losing ABS as much as I mind Zhao losing it. Because again, his weapon's still, like, relatively low level. It doesn't need a ton to level up. How is Heart different from the other one? Seem to have the same behavior. No chess or anything. Just empty room with one enemy. Garbo. Switchy switch. Nope, 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 nope. Okay, there we go. <laughs> Keep swinging your sword. You'll get there eventually, man. Oh, we got a sword. Just a... Is that part of the memory? Just a sword? Banana, that's food slash bait. Oh, you're not dead. My bad. I thought we mod you. Oh, freaking mimics. What is this? Have there always been fountains in these rooms? I've just never noticed them before. Oh. I wonder, like, is... If we didn't get all the Atlamilla in this floor, or on this dungeon, since it's just for memories, do, I wonder if we have to to be able to beat the game, or maybe there's like a, a good ending, bad ending type system for this game? Where like if you get all the Atlamilla, you get a good ending, if you don't, you get a bad one? I could see it going either way. So far, we've had to collect everything, it seems like, or just about everything, at least, in order to continue on. But this dungeon's so much different from the other ones, it's hard to say. A free refill, thank you. Oh, two chests. Mimic? Kinda caught it. And not Mimic? It's purely luck. I had no idea if those would actually be them or not, but... Swap! If they ever remake this game, I really hope they include quality of life improvements. Like not having to swap people to open things. A better way to get weapons for characters you actually want them for. Not completely 100% locking you out of a, an attachment if you don't pick the right option at a random shop when you don't even know that <laughs> different options are going to give you different store inventories. Just little things, you know? I think we can do another floor before we leave. Weapon. Yeah, we still have three repair powder. I don't know if we picked one up at some point or if we just actually haven't used any. I feel like we must have picked one up. Because, yeah, we're not using as much as we were at one point anymore, but, like... Still none for the entire floor? That seems like a bit much. I find that hard to believe. Get thirsty quicker, okay. Not the end of the world, but annoying. Does mean we're gonna wanna get through enemies as quickly as possible, and that's always him. Another thing a card. Does nothing. Open. Broken sword. So wait, do we need both? 
sword and broken sword from the memory, or is it two different memories? I'm gonna end up forgetting if I don't parry you now. Oh, nice. Already got the way out. We're not gonna use it until we clear the floor, but still. Is noise and we got the map let's freaking go dude um yeah i don't care with this weapon oh okay <laughs> sure why not that's fine uh upgrade yes and then we'll give you what do you need again <laughs> Build up, sorry, we need everything except for flying and undead. We need everything else. Customize. Um oh, we have no monster stuff. So all of this would actually be useless on you. Well that sucks. <laughs> Screw it. Not worried about it right now, then. When he gets back to an upgrade, maybe we'll do something with it. I mean, there's a chance we get an even better weapon right here. Uh, Big or small? Big or small? I don't know. Big? Small? Small. Let's do small. Amethyst. Okay, that's actually pretty good. That's a uh, plus 10 dragon, plus 10 mage. Wait, plus 10 dragon, plus 10 mage. Do we need that before I give it to him? Just real quick, do we need that on Steve? Do we still need mage? We do still need mage, okay. So you are getting the amethyst then. Wait. Wasn't Opal like... Oh no, Opal's a useful one, okay. Going the wrong way here. I don't know if that counts as the, the, the good option from that chest or not, but it was good for me at least. Gems are super freaking helpful. That sounded like a key drop. Nope, just premium water. I mean, that could be very useful in this one. We are about to start thirsting. There is, like, the spot on the floor, but it's on the other side of the dungeon. I'd rather not have to go all the way back around for it. Oh, wait. Cool. There's another drinking spot right up here. Perfect. I hear a plant. I hear a dead plant. I don't know if it's just because I know, like, better how to fight them now or what, but these other cards aren't nearly as annoying as the first one. Just because they don't seem to guard as much. Fairy stone, that's whatever. Fire gem is whatever. Don't really need fire on anybody that I know of. That should be enough by now, right? Horse rider, sword, a face, father? Oh, this, this is our father? Okay. And crown. First campaign. They lie in wait for us, veiled by the morning mist. I give my troops the signal. The cavalry slices through this ferocity before me. Is this war? I thought I heard my father's voice. Do not fear, your task is to protect this country. Since we're here, I mean, we might as well. 25 feels like too many for how much stuff we have left. I feel like, I feel like I say that a lot though. 
probably wrong most of the time. And I mean, if you looked it up, then, like, I believe the internet over my whatever I feel like it should be. Um, do we have the key? We don't really need the ABS, and so far, at least, none of these guys have dropped anything useful. I mean, maybe if we bombed them, since that's technically a thing, we do have the key to leave. Yeah, there's no chests. Screw it. Let's just go. There's no, except for the fact that you get experience and it feels good. There's no benefit to killing things. Well, whatever they drop, I guess. Potentially. Nate, what are you going to do when I decide to have a great exodus on all the points, man? Just <laughs> wipe them all and start over again. That's what? One, two, three. One, two, three. That's hundreds of millions. One, two, three. That's billion. You have, what, 24 trillion points, I think that says? Like, my guy. That's just too many. Another big chest. Game is being kind. Oh, shoot. Explosion is a poison trap. That's fine. Dasanga may be okay. Oh, wrong thing. Weapon. Forty-six, thirty-five, seventy-four. Mid-tier. Not terrible, not good. More money, money, nice. Buy gem. We do get the key from enemy drops, right? Yeah, I'm pretty sure we do. Just need your actual account to look like that. Yeah, imagine just having 24 trillion sitting in your account, my guy. I mean, that'd be pretty sick, but, uh... <laughs> I don't... How much money does, like... Who's the richest person on Earth right now? I'm not sure who it is. It's, it's not Bill Gates anymore, right? Regardless, though. Whoever it is, is it... Is it... What's his name? Jeff Bezos? Do they have 24 trillion dollars even? That's what I'm trying to get to. I'm pretty, I'm like, I don't think they even have that much money. That would be wild though. I still have like the same belief as always. I don't know how people can have that much money. Like, <laughs> I would just like, I'd go crazy, man. I'd just have to like give it all away and like do something with it. I can't imagine just letting it sit like that. You think it's Musk now? Maybe? I honestly don't know who it is, but regardless. Do they even have 24 trillion? Whoever the hell it is. I know it's a lot. I'm sure it's close to... And, and like, I've looked it up before, but I can't even remember. I'm hesitant to say it's in the trillions. Is it, is it just in the, like, many billions? It might just be in the many of billions. I cannot remember for the life of me, though. So what I'm hearing is, with it, I can usurp the current hierarchy? <laughs> yes. <laughs> exactly. I'm pretty sure once you hit trillions of dollars, you can do pretty much whatever you want. Like, that's a lot of freaking money. That's richest countries in the world kind of money. I wonder... <laughs> I wonder, honest to goodness, with that kind of money, if you just went to, like, some small country... I, I can't think of any small, relatively poor country off the top of my head. I'm terrible at geography and world politics. But, like, could you just, like, go to them and be like, Hey, we will give you five trillion dollars if you give us the country. <laughs> like, <laughs> just, like, and state us as dictator and name it after us and then it's our country now I wonder if they'd go for it I mean 
If it was a corrupt country, you could probably pay off people for that. Um, but I was thinking more along the lines of like, giving that however many trillions of dollars, five trillion dollars or whatever to like the country. You know, like putting it in the country's coffers. Repair. Do we have stuff on you? We don't because like everything was useless for you. We'll go ahead and put that on there. We can just buy more of those and they're cheap. Um, Fire and holy. We have neither of those. How do you feel about wind? I guess you're getting some wind. It's pretty much useless for you, but you're ready to be upgraded. And I don't like having you sit there unupgraded, so. There you go. Thirst reaches limit. Do we have a drink? We do not have a drinking spot. Wrong thing. Here we go. Nearly quenches, completely quenches. Nearly quenches is good enough for me right now. Did we get the key? I think we did get the key. Yeah, we didn't need to kill these last, like, two people. Whatever, though. I'm gonna grab the chests. Minion! That's money. Pretty decent money at that. Oh, good. The magic crystal. Freaking love when we get magic crystals at the end of the dungeon. And maps, you know? We wouldn't want the dungeon layout or where everything's at spoiled for us or anything, so of course I want to get them at the very end of it. Uh, yeah. Learn how to play the game, dumbass. There we go. Alright, we are going to leave the dungeon for a moment. Go back to the shop. So we need to buy repair powder. Um, maybe a couple attribute things. I think that's Oh, and a couple of Dran's feathers. I think that's pretty much it that we need to buy. Uh, we'll shop then save. Can I buy some items? First, let's sell. We'll sell Inferno Gem, Throbbing Cherry, Banana. All these amulets, because I don't care. And the minion. That's enough to buy another gem. Let's freaking go. Okay. That's exciting. One, two. How many did we have? We have... I just bought two auto repair powder. Hmm. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. <laughs> I think we can take three more chickens. Should be good on water. We have two revival powder. That should be enough of that. Oh, wait. Drans feathers. Um, how many do we have? Just one? Let's buy... Three more. Four more. Buy... Gems. I would like to buy, what was it? Diamond, plus 10 metal, plus five to all others. With no other upgrades, yeah, just pure like upgrade. Although, Opal for Steve would be pretty good, metal and mage. Now let's buy the diamond. And then, Attachments. Hey, nice, man. King Hearts 1.5, 2.5. That's sick. I got all of them on Steam the other day. I played a tiny bit of it, but, like, yeah. I just bought it because I wanted to show Square that, hey, I really like these games. Make more. I guess it doesn't matter what we buy. Whatever. Undead Buster. Weapons. You... Steve, customize. So we can take this off. Put the diamond on. That's pretty good, man. I'm just saying, that's getting up there for everything. Is Steve ready to be upgraded? Yeah. He is now. Upgrade! <laughs> Steve.
Steve's now level seven. Build up. Oh. Bro, he's got everything he needs but the thunder. Okay, so what's the best one for thunder? Pearls. Pearls give 10 thunder. He's so freaking close now, dude. We don't have any thunder on us though, right? Customize, we have one thunder on us. Oh, that's exciting. Um, You customize, throw these on you. And the rest of it doesn't really matter. We're still waiting on that. Build up. Wait, did we equip de undead or mage just now? We equipped undead. <laughs> the one that he doesn't freaking need. <laughs> God damn everything. <laughs> um. Okay. I know I said we weren't going to mess with it much, but now I'm like... I really want to because we're so close. Can I buy gems, please? I would like to sell my gold bullion. Um, these were both mid. Don't need either one of them. Shouldn't need the regular platinum ring anymore since we already have one. I don't think it's gonna be enough though. It is, it'll be enough, okay. Turns plus one, 3007, let's freaking go. Which one's thunder? Pearl. Sun would be even better, but or, well, I mean, I guess not better, but whatever. Pearl, okay. Weapon. You. Steve, customize. Pearl. That's Thunder 34. I have no idea how much it actually needs, though, is the problem. I mean, we were s we were saving sun as like a capstone type item, but I'm so tempted to just throw it on there now. We can do one more thing. Hold on. Buy attachments. Oh, you don't just sell like a thunder upgrade? No. And all I have checked in now are a bunch of bombs, right? Yeah. Oh, shoot. We have revival powder. I guess I didn't need to be buying any. Oh, well. Too late. Save game. Yep. Yeah, Nate. I mean, I guess there's no real reason to buy three until you play the other ones. And there's also the 2.8 prologue. Uh, one if you haven't played that yet. Okay, so we saved. Steve. I mean, okay, I was gonna, like, apply it and then restart the game if it wasn't enough to do the build-up. But, I guess, honestly, like, that's dumb when we have the power of the internet right here. So, like... Dark Cloud Super Steve Requirements. What stats are required for Super Steve? Uh, 60, 90, 90. Wait. Oh, okay. Uh, so. 50, 65, 77, 30, 0, 0, 50. It requires 50. And we're at what right now? Not close to 50. 
No, we're at 34. <laughs> Fuck. So that means we would need two more opals. Or pearls, rather. I mean, that's just six grand. We might be able to do it. But now we know. So we might as well take this thunder off, because if we're going to be putting two more pearls on, then, like, yeah, that'll take us where we need to be. Bro, we might actually be able to do it. Okay. And then... Sorry, we're, we're almost done with this. I don't want to keep screwing with this. I just want to customize. You don't need thunder at all either, right? No, but I mean... Yeah, no, there's no reason to give it to you, honestly. Everything else is maxed out. Okay. Let's go. Oh, three pearls, and we'll finally have freaking Super Steve, dude. And really strong undead killing abilities, apparently. By coincidence. Dun, 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 you. Uh, I am curious. What is double impact? Customize. What's your thunder at? 22. 12 with that. So if we put this in, 60%. So if we get it to 20 ish. Yeah, I don't know if we're going to get it there high enough. I mean, we could sacrifice the sunstone. I guess we're not going to end up needing it. So we only need three grand if we do that. And then we'll have super speed. Which would be really freaking nice, man. The game wants to be really nice. It could just give us another gem. Specifically, like, the one we need would be really cool. Asshole. Head. Menace of the West. Still want to see the cutscenes. Allies fall. The West is a wizard with fearful power. Are we losing? No, I will not retreat. I must hold here, or those devils will invade your castle. Isn't this just, like, a retelling of everything he just told us, though? Like, why do we need to see it again? Oh, that actually hurt. Oh, I thought the game crashed there for a second. Nope, computer just, like, froze up a little bit. That's all. Be good. Should have looked. Oh, yeah, there's two recovery spots on this floor. I shouldn't have done that. I would have been fine. Oh, you know what we might actually need that I forgot about? We might need some stand-in powder. I think we used it all during that boss fight on the last world. We got more revival powder, but I think we're still short on that. Oh. Oh, well. Just don't die. Problem solved. this a completely empty room? Okay, game. That's weird. I, I don't... Have we ever ran across a completely empty room before? No enemies, no chests. I mean, it had the revival spring thing, but like... Oh my god, the jokers suck, man because they actually deal some damage. Hit them again. Cheese. All our cheese is gone because I'm stupid. Force it open. Explosion. Success. Another crappy weapon for what's his name. Hey, key. Okay, so once we're sure we have all the Atlamilla, we'll just leave. 
Sadly, I don't remember how many Alamilla there are on this floor, but... I mean, I guess I would like to get all the chests, too. Because you can get useful things. Usually, no, but you never know. Uh, it's one of those freaking doors, too. Switch to her. And what's green? Wind. Do you have wind? You do not have wind. Do you have wind? You do not have wind. Please tell me we have... We don't have any wind gems. The sunstone. We can use the sunstone for it. This is freaking stupid, man. This is like... Ah, uh, this is one of the worst mechanics. Who had the freaking thing? Was it you? Was it the double impact? Here it is. The double impact has it. It'd be fine if it just needed to be hit by, like, magic in general. But because it needs to be hit by, like, a specific kind of magic, that's where it just turns stupid. I forgot to equip the attribute. Not weapon. You can keep using that weapon for all I care. Um, who am I using? You, machine gun. I'd rather take an extra second than end up dying to the Jokers. Bruh, come on, die. Stop guarding. I got places to be, like the end of the game. actually really hoping for that okay so we do need to grab this which is the key to get into the next room so or last room so we can get the atlamilla and then get the hell out just gonna ignore the enemies don't care see i acquired dragon ages also yes i did pick up the rest of the dragon age games they were on sale for super cheap i don't know if they still are or not still are or not but anybody who's interested in playing the dragon age games check on steam man they were like when i picked them up i think it was something like seven dollars for all of them it might have been actually you know it is probably seven dollars for the ones i didn't have which was two and whatever the last one was so it's probably like ten or eleven dollars for all of them point is it was super cheap regardless so if anybody's interested in those games and doesn't already have it, definitely check Steam and see if it's still on sale. Because it was a really good deal. I was looking at, because uh, I, I do like the Steam family share with my brother. And I was looking to see what games were shared. And I knew he had the Dragon Age games and I didn't. And I was like, that's weird. They're not popping up. So I checked and sure enough, they're not eligible for it. And uh, he was on Steam as well at the moment, looking at the store and shit. And he was like, bro, just pick them up. And I'm like, well, I don't have like much money right now. And he was like, seriously, though, just go buy them. It's like $3 a game. <laughs> I was like, oh, well, shit, dude. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> if it's going to be that cheap, then of course I'm going to pick it up. As of this morning, you still need a two and three. Ah, nice. Okay. So you picked them up too then? Sounds like you did at least. Oh, you dick. Okay, so the cards hurt. <laughs> like, <laughs> they might generally not be that hard to deal with, but when they do hit, man, they freaking hit. Antifreeze amulet. Mm. It's money. And 3,000 monies would be really nice. IRL and in game, which is just, just saying. <laughs> That's how you saw I acquired them. You clicked on yours. Ah, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, that makes sense. Bro, give me the pickup. Okay, whatever.
all the amulets. The amulets are worth these of money. I'm not mad about that. Give me amulets. Yeah, I've ended up picking up the other day. I picked up um, the Dragon Age games that I didn't need, which were two and three. And then I picked up the Kingdom Hearts games just because I, not because I really needed them, but because Kingdom Hearts want to support and show my love. And then I forget the name of it. Murky Waters, I think is the name of it, which is a game that me and my brother might end up playing on stream at some point because he is scared of the ocean and it's a diving horror game. So like, bruh, if I can get him to play that, I'm going to get him to play that because it'll be freaking hilarious. Worst case scenario, he doesn't get scared, <laughs> and it still looks like it's a decent game, so why not? Best case scenario, it scares the hell out of him, and we all get a laugh. Like, either way, it's a win for us. I think we still need the key. Am I wasting my time? Double check. Yeah, no, I still need key. Okay. Key. Let's go. Okay, so now three chests and three at Lamilla, and we are out. Thunder gem? No, that's the consumable one, not the attribute one. Treasure key? I mean, that'll probably just sell it, honestly. Oh, and a free stand in powder. That's actually really nice. Uh, excuse me, game, let me through. But yeah, no, like, the big treasure chest, that's what the treasure key's for, and it's just... Just pick explosion every time. Just pick explosion. Because if it's not, then you just get poisoned, which you can just use an antidote to cure. Or a curse, which isn't the end of the world regardless. Um, I mean, it can also be cured, but, like, whatever. <laughs> Who cares? <laughs> and the, the trap doesn't change. So, like, whatever it was, whenever it blew up in your face, if it was curse or poison, then it's going to be the same thing again. So, as long as you pick explosion first, then it's just, it's free. The only reason you want to pick explosion first, because it does a bunch of damage. It could potentially murder you. All right, uh, and before we go down, do we have the stuff for you? That'd be you, the broken sword again, the dark figure, and the blood agreement. A long time has passed since the war began. We are nearly defeated. To regroup, I took rest of a, I took rest at a safe place. Then a black robe man approaches from behind the trees. You want the power to win this day? I can give it to you. I thought we'd be getting like new lore. From the flashbacks. Not a literal rehashing of everything the guy told us, <laughs> like... I mean, I guess it went a tiny bit more in depth, like, with him meeting the princess of the next kingdom over or whatever, but... Like, not really either. I just really want to see what an N-tier weapon's like, man with Super Steve. I don't even know if Super Steve is good as far as end tier weapons go. But we've yet to build up any weapon, so it'll be cool just to see what happens there, like how that works. And then that'll be our first and only most likely end tier weapon, which would be just cool to see how powerful they are. Because I mean, Super Steve is already pretty good. The only reason we don't use him is because he's much, much slower than than what we have with the uh, the machine gun guy here. I don't remember what his name is. I want to call him Otto, but I don't think it's Otto. Speed plus one. Honestly, probably just money for us at this point. 
if we need it. Map is always handy. Big chest is nice. It's a King Mimic, never mind. Joker. Mighty healing. That's a f f cure all. Hone or something? That's the name of the main character, yeah. Um, his name is. I can't remember. Does it not say it here? Does it say it if we go here? Yeah, Osmond. That's his name. Uh, trap explosion. Snail. Snail is the magic weapon, the one that we bought, I think. Fires magic bolts. Yeah, I'm pretty sure this is the one that we bought and decided, eh, I'd much rather use the machine gun and then just gave it to the machine gun. So, and since these are both magic weapons, if we decide to upgrade him anymore, we'll probably just dump Snail into Skunking. I'm not sure. Oh shoot, we completely skipped up an Atlamilla. We dumb. Um, yeah, I doubt we'll go about that at all, given that we're halfway to the end game of this world. But if we do, yeah, and I'm not I'm not even positive if they're part of the same upgrade line or anything like that, but they seem like they would be. It also seems like the, the later the character that you acquire, the less weapon trees they have. So I'm pretty sure that's probably going to be like... He probably only has two, I guess is what I'm trying to say. Maybe two in like a special line, but I wouldn't be surprised if he just has a physical one and a magic one and that's it. I also wouldn't be surprised if they turn into the same freaking weapon once you get them to the end. Oh, I unlocked. There we go. Bro, somebody's got to drop this key. Next room literally pointless? Next room literally pointless. Back this way. Oh, that hurt. Are you still alive? No, you're dead. Bruh, drop me a key. Did I already pick it up and I just missed it? Oh, crap. I almost... The beeping's literally, like, going off in my ear, and I'm just not paying enough attention to it. Oh, you bastard. I mean, there's a full a, a healing thing right here, so it's whatever, but still, that was just rude. More junk. Okay, next floor. I do wonder a little bit if we have enough to buy that opal now, but we can save the sun gem if we just get enough to buy two opals, so should try to keep saving money. And now I guess we really don't have that much to sell. These are like two, four, six, eight. So we have like a thousand gold worth of stuff. To buy two opals, we'd need about 6,000 gold worth of stuff, so. Yeah, I don't, I don't think we're quite there yet. Getting close. Er. <laughs> close is a bit of an overstatement. <laughs> you know, one-sixth of the way there. 205 years. Oh, you're new. You're also super dead, but... Uh, one, two, three, four, five. No, we don't have enough.
I mean, maybe I should have looked to see what else we needed. Sophia again. The assassin? How fancy? What are you? Uh, HP recovered. Weapon HP. Is a whatever. Wasn't a bad effect, at least. I'm guessing the Lich are weak to holy, because holy shit, dude. 100 damage per hit, like, on a machine gun? I just realized his speed doesn't like refill naturally antidote amulet that's more money thank you for the five bits um so it works i guess like a clip of a gun which is cool like it just runs out and then to empty then you have to refill wait is somebody else still alive oh i didn't realize there were three liches in here the only downside is until we get the fairy gem I don't know if there's more at Lamilla we have to collect around here. Oh, hey, there's the, well, magic crystal, whatever it's called. Uh, and no, we don't. There's one more chest we'll go grab real quick and then we're done with this floor too. See, if we weren't trying to just like get through it, what we could do is use Steve since Steve has the steel ability on him. Poison trap. Because we could get a fair amount of money from stealing. I don't know what these guys drop, but another crystal ring. Okay. Um, yeah, I don't know what these guys drop, but it'd probably be worth something. Or not drop, but what they have on like their, their loot table, their steel table. As far as I can tell, their drops aren't really worth crap, which is why I'm not really worried about murdering them right now. And instead just focusing on getting the hell out of here. ASAP. Next floor. Keep waiting for another curse floor, but it hasn't seemed to have happened yet. You're new. Hi, buddy. What is that enemy? Castle and Sophia again. Light from my hands destroys my enemies. Is this black power? I borrowed the power of devils, but now I can save my comrades. With this force, I will never let them touch you. Okay. We need a lot for this one. Oh well, you're dead. <laughs> you were neat while you were la uh, while you lasted, I suppose. Another big chest, man. I don't know if like we're just getting super lucky today. Well, okay, in this case, no, it's a freaking mimic, but, <laughs> or if it's just like better spawns in the, the final dungeon here, but we're getting a lot of big chests. It's kind of nice. And it's actually been giving us stuff for people other than, than Tone, which is also super freaking nice. Wine, okay. That's interesting. I assume switching to fire would probably kill blizzards even faster, but like we kill them fast enough either way that I don't think I care. Wrong side. Some escape powder. Hopefully we don't need that anytime soon. Pretty sure we already have a couple on us anyways, even if we did end up needing it, but... We should probably leave, like, after this floor 
for nothing else than just to be able to save again in case something does go terribly wrong. I mean, I guess, like, worst case scenario, we would lose, what, half of our money in one weapon? But depending on which weapon we would lose, that could actually be pretty devastating. I mean, we have the auto repair powder up there, so, like, that shouldn't be an issue. But you never know, man. Sometimes I'm stupid and I don't think much about, like, what I'm doing. So I could, like, have it break, accidentally use the auto repair powder, and then have it break again, and that would not be a fun time. Wind? No. It's not the attachable type. I wish you could attach those consumable gems, whatever you want to call them. So you could use them to upgrade your attributes as well. That would be really handy. Not use them as just a uh, throwable item. shouldn't need whatever's in these chests at this point, but it can always be stuff like that, man. Freaking expensive crap. Oh, on the map, yeah. <laughs> you really didn't need the map, but whatever. Alright, floor 15 will be the next floor. That means we're, what? You said there's 25, so just 10 more floors left to go. And it's been... We started just after 5.30. So, like, two hours, roughly? I think I think we got this. <laughs> Unless the, like, final bot... Ah, oh, I hit the wrong button. That's fine. Just don't catastrophically fail on this floor. Um, <laughs> but unless the last boss, like, really gives us trouble, I think we should be good to finish this tonight. Or, well, beat it tonight, I guess. Again, I'm not going for the full finish. Fuck all that right now. I am gonna save this save file, and it's some instant key pickup. Can we get the magic crystal next? Um, yeah, no, it might be something that, like, I do on my own time. I might come back to it, but... But as far as stream goes, I think, yeah, just beating it is going to be enough. Uh, I mean, map is nice, I guess. That's a new enemy. I might kill that just because I'm curious. Alexander. Oh, you shoot fire. Okay, you're super annoying. Glad I don't have to kill you right now. I mean, I'm, like I said, I'm gonna kill it because of curiosity, but like, ooh, they annoying. Um, okay. There's one room up here, check it first. So we don't have to run all the way back. Nothing but enemies, get off him. Then... about you I'm not even looking like at the <laughs> the world I'm just looking at the map to see what pops up on the mini map Door. Ooh, that's more money can't we make like the mini map bigger is that I don't know why I felt like we could make the mini map bigger thought you could go like um like not Baldur's Gate freaking help brain work what the hell's that game called man Diablo I thought you could do it like Diablo-esque where like the the ma the mini map takes up the entire screen but I guess not trans feather broke Uh, we still have four more. We're doing pretty decent on them, actually. One 
chest, one at Lamilla. More freaking bait, let's go. Must be protected. Drunk with victory, I return to the castle. We will meet again. You come sooner than expected. Simply seeing you revives my spirit. How could I realize you, the imposter, the one who would take my life? Wait. So was... Was she... The genie? Oh, excuse me. Don't die. <laughs> Uh, we need to actually switch back to you to get over this gap. Maybe we are going to get some new lore. Eventually. The game's just, like, seriously taking its time giving it to us, but... But it looks like we might be getting there. Okay, don't click the wrong button this time. Click the right freaking one. We need to leave dungeon. We want to sell. We want to... Buy... Maybe... I don't know, I guess it depends how much money we have, but I don't think we actually really need to buy anything. Okay, sell, sell, sell. First sort, I guess. Sell you, 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 you. That's worth like nothing, but sell it anyways. Sell that and that. Oh, that's worth 400. That's worth more than I thought, the keys. Bro, we're so close. We only need, what, 700 more for one of the ovals. Uh, we got another useless weapon for you. And you. We don't need the snail. I was just going to use it to maybe dump into skunk. So yeah, get rid of that too. There's one opal. So technically we can get Super Steve now. But... I think we wait. Make sure I'm buying the right one. I need thunder. So pearl, not opal. Pearl. Kind of wish I would have saved first just in case, but... <laughs> but I'm looking at the thing, and it says that's the right one. That should be the right one. Uh, but anyways, yeah, technically we could now, but I'd really like to save the sun gem. Items, are there anything else we need, or is there anything else we need? We have a bunch of full heals, we have antidotes, we have a couple of other random things that we don't need. We have a bunch of freaking escape powder. We can probably end up selling a couple of those. We have a bunch of repair. Nah, we're we're good. We're good on everything else. I mean, if we have... I forgot to save. Oh, why am I like this? Can we leave from here? No, once we're here, we're forced. Okay, that's fine. I don't think we can save in the dungeon. I'll try. You get thirsty quicker, God. I was so worried that it was going to force us to stay as him. We can deal with thirst. Oh, hi, Lich. Um, okay. Yeah, we should be fine. Black Dragon, you're new. Ooh, you actually have... I don't like this. I don't like this, Mr. Krabs. Who poisoned us? Was it Alexander? I mean, he did some real freaking damage regardless. Like, what, about 80, 70? And then the poison just to top it off, like, oof. Boom, 
Repair. We're going for... It said three Alamillo. We actually know this time how many we're looking for. Since we came from the outside world, it's a lot easier to know these things. Mm, key, okay. Keys aren't the end of the world. Does mean... Oh. I was going to say it does mean there's going to be a door eventually, and that might be annoying, but... I mean, I guess if the door's right here, it's not that bad. And just get it out of the way quick. That's two. One more at Lamilla. But we do still need key to leave. Big chest. I actually want more of the Jokers now. Just for the potential of picking up, like, gems and stuff. Oh, getting thirsty already, man. That was some really good freaking timing on the chest that then hit it. Wait, why am I frozen? I'm literally frozen. Oh, well, that's rude. <laughs> All right, we'll eat this, I guess. And then I don't think we have anything that cures frozen, right? We'll break out of it eventually. We're going to get hit before then, though, aren't we? No, wait. We're free. Let's go. Okay. <laughs> Is it the dragon? Do dragons just, like, apply random status every time they hit you? The black dragons? Was there a drink? No. Okay. No drink that we know of yet, at least. map and look at that there's a drink right freaking here <laughs> okay it's fine we probably don't need as much water as we have in our inventory anyways it's fine you know what use up senior water like a tiny tiny bit of it because we're switching back now <laughs> Drop me a key, you bastard. Oh god, two Alexanders? Two Alexanders and a freaking... Oh, they shoot fire. Did I know that? Maybe I knew that. Still though, three Alexanders? That's just rude. Get, get unstuck, please. Freaking poisoned again, dude. I wonder if it's possible to die up here. Like, if somebody did enough damage in one hit to kill you, I wonder if that would, if you would die even while standing on the, uh, on the healing platform. Oh, shoot. I need to, I need to go heal with that poison we could actually die in one hit to these guys oh my god you guys are really slowing down my progress I hope you know that Mr. Alexanders last antidote I might buy more antidote at some point I hate the idea of using like a, a full status heal just for poison. I don't know. Poison's like such a lame status. <laughs> e? Bruh. Watch me already like picked up the key somewhere and I just forgot about it. we get the... I don't think we got... No, we must not have the uh, the magic crystal yet either. So either we miss something somewhere or it all comes down to here. Well, there's that. Speaking of Alexanders. Is that another Alexander over there? Okay. 
Bro, just die, please. Thank you. Is that the key? That was the key. Let's go. Okay. Bro, grab the thing before you die. Please. Bloody dress. Mm. I feel like the next memory is not going to be a good one. Uh, do I run all the way back and get the heal? No. Don't care. Just drink some water. You'll be fine. Go ahead and fix the weapon while we're in here, too. Yeah, you, you. Disbelief cuts through the shock. It should have been me. The knife was meant for me. Why do you smile? Because you saved the one you loved. What about me? Who should I protect from now on? The world, bro. Leave, save, save, after leaving, leave the dungeon, hit triangle, and save, for Christ's sakes, man. Just in case the game crashes or something goes wrong, you never freaking know. Anything can happen, so just freaking save. Thank you, game. Save complete. Then right back in the dungeon, because there's nothing else we need that I can think of right now. I just really want to get that freaking save down, man. Looking for four Atla. Four dumb bitches. Wrong button. We need to go. Uh, sure, we'll go straight first. Bruh, let's go! Alright, four Atla and chests. That's all we're looking for. Here's one Atla. Black blood? Mm. That sounds nice. See any more? We need our guy back. Another Atla. I was gonna say, please open it before Alexander gets too close. Birth of the demon. <laughs> That's that sounds nice, huh? WHP decrease, not the end of the world. Oh shoot, there's another Atla here. I shouldn't have switched. Oh well. Oh, another power up powder. That's actually pretty nice. Was this two or three? I think this was two. It might have been three. Either way, we plan on grabbing all the chests, so whenever we find the magic crystal, that'll tell us for sure, like, if we missed any or not. Oh, you bastard. Uh, wait, didn't we pick up cheese? Or am I crazy? Nope, I'm crazy. Okay, that's fine. Eat some chicken? Yeah, it's not worth risking dying. Even though we do have, like, survival powder, or stand-in powder and all that. It's just not worth. I was literally right here, though. That's what I was worried about. Ah, I feel like it's always right there, man. Whenever you use, like, the water or the, the food or whatever, you instantly run into the, the healing thingy. Sorry, I got an itch on my foot. There we go. Much better. Dark Cloud acquired? Name dropping the game like that? Really? Stop swinging, please. <laughs> Hi, evil bat. You bastards. <laughs> I'm not fixing the poison on him. He's fine.
I'm missing anything else? This is probably just the magic crystal. Wait, no, that's tasty water. Oh, there's a whole room we missed. Okay. I did not see that on the map. Oh, and a chest over here, too. Holy crap. And that last room is pointless. Glad we skipped that room in particular, then. We winning? Yeah, are we gonna win. Look at us. Fuck yeah, dude. Knew we were gonna kick their ass. Our bow, best bow. Thank you very much. What does this take us to? 18? Eighteen! Cookies for winning? Bo likes cookies. I like cookies. Cookies are delicious, dude. Especially like soft sugar cookies or soft chocolate chip cookies or Oreos that have been softened in milk. Place it's in case, in case it's unclear. Yeah, exactly. Now I was gonna say I love soft cookies, but I mean, whatever, I guess, that's fine. Just hate me if you want. Why not? Ugh. My chair down? I think my chair fell a little bit. It's fine. It's no big deal. Oh, bro, okay. Big chest to Atla right off the bat. Big fake freaking chest. That's fine, he's dead. Ain't nobody standing up to machine gun. <laughs> It really is like the most overpowered of uh, of spells. Do you need to stretch? Sound like you I really don't though. Okay. <laughs> we'll do it, I guess. But like, we don't need it, man. Thin mint softened on milk. Maybe. I'm not a huge fan of like mint and chocolate mix, unless like I haven't had it in a long time. But when I was younger, I really like like teenage years. I really liked mint chocolate chip ice cream. Ah. Oh, my like arm hurts. Not like arm arm, but like here hurts for some reason. Anyways, point is, I haven't had mint chocolate chip ice cream in a long, long time. But I might still like that. But other than that, yeah, I'm not a big fan of like mint and chocolate mixed together. I'm not a big fan of mint flavor in general, unless it's on its own. Like, I like mints, right? Mints are nice. But that's pretty much it. I actually prefer, like, wintergreen. As far as mints go, like, minty type flavors go, too. Over, like, regular mint. Or, uh, peppermint. I'm a big fan of, like, peppermint, too. Just regular mint's probably my least favorite of the minty flavors as well. Just not a huge mint person, I guess. Oh, excuse me. But I would try it. Especially if it was a soft, like... How good is this sword? Um, okay, 59. That's not terrible. Come on, just die. Let me, let me murder you. And then we're going to instantly go back to Machine Gun. Especially since that poison is, like, eating away at us. We didn't get the key yet on this floor yet, right? No, I don't think so. Ah, freaking Phoenix. Um, this looks like a dead end, maybe, over here. Let's go this way first. Soap. Got some soap. Yeah, I love Samoas. Like the Girl Scout cookies. With like the, the caramel and the chocolate and the cookie and a little bit of the coconut on top. I'm not even like a huge coconut person. Like I will eat coconut candies every once in a while. I don't hate them or anything like that. But uh, Samoas in particular are really good. 
they're by far my favorite hard cookie. Because I do really prefer soft cookies. But if I gotta eat a hard cookie, that's gonna be the one for me. I wonder, now I wonder what they would taste like soft in the milk. You like the taste of coconut, but texture's too grainy? That's fair, yeah. I can't really argue with that. The texture can be a little bit grainy. It's a little bit like chewing on wood chips sometimes too. Like, especially if it's a, I don't know if it's stale or just like not very good coconut or what, but sometimes it can be a bit rough. Yellow bean? Would that be holy or would that be thunder? I'm gonna try holy. Holy might be white, though, actually. Yeah. It's probably thunder. There we go. One chest, no enemies or anything. I mean, I guess it has the back rooms. That's... If we had the item to get into the back rooms, and if we really cared that much, then that in and of itself would be a good enough reason to come there. I'd much rather than put like nothing of importance behind those type of doors, because again, I feel like you could get yourself not soft locked, but like, no, I guess you would kind of be soft locked. Like you would have to just let yourself die. If you didn't have escape powder, if there was a enemy behind that door, and if you didn't have whatever attribute that you needed to get in there. So then you would just be stuck in the dungeon. You wouldn't be able to do anything. You just have to let yourself starve to death. Or if there were more enemies to kill, I guess you could, um... You could let one of them murder you? Hmm. That's everything but a couple of chests. Feather. And we'll switch back to the dude that's not poisoned. Don't care about mimics. Not now that we got what we wanted. Hey, antidote drink. Um I don't think I care enough about main guy being poisoned to use an antidote on him because we only use him to open the at at atla atlamilla whatever the hell they're called anyways so like he doesn't really need to be at full health all the time just as long as he has enough health left to open a ball every now and then on everybody and next freaking floor dude 19 six to go kiki kiki ki. we need to sort our inventory holy hell is getting gross Next floor. Technically only have 45 minutes left. I'm willing to go. Okay, you know what? This isn't the worst thing in the world. Weapon, customize. I didn't put the thunder on you. This floor is going to be a lot slower than I would have preferred, but... Anything I'd rather put on you? No. Um, okay. Oh god, you are so much weaker though. What level is the thing that we currently have? It's level four. One more level and then we can synth it. I just don't know, because 60% of... 
15. This half would be like 7.5, so that's only going to be like, what, 8? Right? 15 times 0. 0.6. Oh no, it's 9. So if that's 9, I think Steve only needs 9, right? For the... Yeah, he only needs 9. As long as the internet didn't lie to me and it's 50. So, in that case, then, hold up. You know what? I'm gonna... Mm. A little bit scared, I'm not gonna lie. I mean, that's, that's... That math should math, hopefully. Do you have holy? You don't have any holy. What kind of attack do witches have? Okay. That's not too bad. They always die so quickly to machine gun, bro, that I honestly didn't realize that... Or didn't know what kind of attack they had. I'm really hoping you'll give me enough XP to just upgrade now. You didn't. That was rude. I just don't want to use... Oh, oh, well... Duh, I have Thunder Attribute equipped, don't I? No attribute. Okay, will you give me enough? Okay, now we should definitely have enough. But no, you're still only at 118. I guess. I want to repair it naturally instead of like... Or not repair. I want to upgrade it naturally instead of using... My powder for it. Here we go. Last batch should do it. Bro, let's go. Okay. Weapon. You. Make sure I don't have anything important on here. I don't. Upgrade. Yes. Now, status break. Yes. And then Steve, customize. Freaking 51, dude. Let's go. Um, We have three power-up powders. Fuck it. I don't care. Or actually... Build up not allowed with attachments. Okay, so I need to upgrade you first. Upgrade confirm. Yes. Bruh, I didn't, I didn't think we would actually be able to do it. Super Steve, build up. Let's freaking go, dude. Build up to Super Steve. Okay, that wasn't as much, like, fanfare as I was hoping for whenever that happened. But, like... <laughs> It's still cool, though. What kind of... Do you have any benefit from what you had before? I mean, your attack can go higher now. Your MP can go higher now. But I don't think it's actually, like, any better than it was before. I don't think it got any natural upgrade, did it? It just, like... It just let us go higher with it? Powerful, mysterious slingshot Steve. I mean... <laughs> okay, it's a little... It's a little anticlimactic. It's not as exciting as I had hoped it would be. But we still have a Steve with freaking steel. A super Steve. A final tier weapon. With steel, which is still really freaking cool. It's just maybe not as powerful as I had hoped. It has a lot of endurance, which is nice. 87. Uh, WHP. I mean, 150. The bats are pretty weak, but still. 150 on a shot, that's... That's not bad. 203 on a lich? I mean, again, like, it's hard to complain with numbers like that. 
I remember right, these guys have bad circulation. It's good to know his quips are still terrible. She might actually be able to clear people as quickly, if not a little bit more quickly than Machine Gun Bro now. Just because of the ridiculous amount of damage Steve's doing. I guess a lot of that comes down to the attribute, right? High MP, high... Um, high attribute. Bro, another freaking javelin. The game really loves giving us these useless javelins. It's just a sheet with an attitude. Did the game, like, purposefully put weaker enemies on this floor? We didn't get the item to leave yet, right? Now we got the one to open the door, not to leave. I guess... I guess we don't know if we need to open this door or not. We don't have the map yet, so we don't know where the exit is. Since we don't have the key, we do need to kill at least one more enemy. It's just it could be any one of the enemies. Wrong key, dummy. Need to use the dark key. Not the chest key. Why? Why even put this here, man? Obviously, we can get across it. You're forcing us to use this character. Like... And with all the pickups... Yeah, it might actually be worth using her now. The only downside is having to... Slowly hop across gaps. And for the other type of gap, I guess, switching back to the other guy. All the extra pickups mean is extra money, and extra money means more upgrades. Should we need them? I honestly feel like Super Steve and our machine guns would be enough to carry us through anything. But the Ceremony of Curses is starting. I wonder if the world is ending. Steve knows more than he's letting on. Where did he learn all of his knowledge from? That's another thing that I want to know. That he never really talks about. Like, how does he know all this shit? And before another javelin. Ah, it's another swallow, which... I mean, it's pretty good, but we already have one of those, so... We don't really need another one. Um, excuse me, chair. There we go. My chair got locked. I couldn't lean back. I was very concerned. It was not a fun time. Please drop a key. Thank you. Next floor. We have, what, two Drans feathers. We have a lot of repair powder left still. And now with Super Steve, like... One repair powder should last a long time. Between the amount of endurance he has and how much damage he has, therefore we just don't go through the endurance that quickly anyways. Oh no. Is it gonna make us go through everybody? Oh, that's actually bad, man. Like, it's fine with Goro and with Zhao and with the other dude, but it's really gonna suck for, for Ruby and, and Javelin, bro. Oh, shoot. Uh, explosion. Give us a good weapon. Battle Axe. That's not... I mean, it might be decent, but it's not for one of the people that we want. 65. It's okay, actually. Yeah, it's it's up there. I still don't know what the trial hammer is. ABS up, I'm assuming, just gives us more ABS per kill. But I don't know what the poor thing is. That almost looks like it would be a detriment. Bro, <laughs> really? As soon as we come around the freaking corner? That's just rude. Um, I guess we need to eat in case we get hit again. 
Break out of the freeze. Break out of the freeze. I really don't like there being two enemies up in here. Nope. Oh, we do not deal as much damage to you as we do the other people either. Are you resistant to fire? Might as well put more fire on you. Um... Speed. Speed? Sure. Oh, you bastard. I'm so glad we had auto repair powder equipped. I forgot how much freaking weapon HP that took. It didn't even deal that much damage to him. Okay, we need to try a different attribute. Um, I wouldn't think ice would be any good since he does like ice damage to us. Wait, did we get a crit or did we get two crits? Or is he just weak to holy? Wait, are they all weak to holy? Why are we suddenly doing so much more damage to... I mean, to him, I don't know. We never really did damage to him before. But the dragon, that was like a crap ton more damage out of nowhere. I mean, you just do goo. Well, that's not that big of a deal. It's annoying, but it's not the end of the world either. What do you need to upgrade? Thunder. You need like all kinds of stuff. I don't think I'm gonna worry about it. Do you have stuff equipped? You do. Just upgrade you then. Yeah, that's fine. Um. Who has. Who has the sun gem? Might as well make use of that. Oh, it's you because of the, the thing. So that we'd have all the attributes. Or elements. Whatever the hell you want to call it, of course. Customize. Just make sure not to upgrade with that equip. That would be... That would be bad. And then give you more... Just anything. Because anything is better than nothing. Okay. I think after this dungeon we're gonna save again just because I'm honestly just a little bit scared of the next two floors. Because if it is actually just making us go through all the characters one by one, then that could end up being really bad for a couple of floors. Plus, we're probably gonna need repair powder with as quickly as <laughs> this hammer goes through it. At least with, like, the hammer, it stuns people long enough. Okay, well, not everybody. It stuns some enemies long enough that we can just hit them repeatedly. Which is nice. Too bad it doesn't work on everybody. At least a little, not bad. Map. Uh, one room. Might as well check it. Wait, there can't be too many floors like this. Because we still need to get the rest of the Atla. And we can't collect Atla on, on cursed floors. At least not character locked cursed floors. I just want to make sure I didn't already get the key. Because saying that made me realize that, hey, we can't get Atla on character locked curse floors. So we don't really need to kill anybody once we get the key. Key? Fuck yeah. Still kill you because you're almost dead, anyways. Oh, you bastard. <laughs> 
least he didn't like poison us or something. Grab this chest since it's here. And then we're just gonna get the hell out. Yeah, I can't be bothered to get that last chest. Just really does not matter to me. How do we... Oh, I'm blind. I couldn't see the freaking switch on the ground. Alright. Block hand. I guess, yeah. Save, shopping trip. Pray? <laughs> I guess. So that's for what, like 20 ish? So, I mean, I don't know. I guess it is possible. Because there's what, three more characters it could lock us to? So that would still leave one or two floors for us to get the rest of the the Atla that we need. So I guess it's possible, but I really hope it's not going to do that to us. We did end up getting enough for another gem, which... Which weapon was it? It was... Was it Osmond that we thought about building up? Yeah, because it just needs some of that. So plus five to all would be a diamond. So we can buy a diamond. Plus five to all, right? Yes. So we can give that to him. Uh, check out. Yes. And then what items do we need? We need repair powder. Um, a couple food. And a couple feathers. Repair powder, couple food, couple feathers. Couple feathers. And then... Just however much repair powder we can buy. Maybe not however much we can buy, that's a lot. Buy another auto since I accidentally used one. They only sell for 10. Yeah, it just doesn't feel like it's worth even selling the... The things. The escape powders. Save in case game screws us. And back in it. Please and thank. Hmm. It's gonna be another cursed floor. I'm guessing it's gonna be Ruby. Yep. So we just have to we just have to pray to get lucky really in this case. Um we might as well take all the stuff off you. And then before I forget, go ahead and give Osmond this. So we don't forget to do that. I don't know if that applies the stuff that's on there or not. I can't remember. I think it does. Okay, we'll give you this and I guess endurance. Does it really matter? It is equipped, right? Yeah. So we have holy selected already. Okay, it's not doing terrible damage at least. I don't know if that's because of the holy or just luck. If the cards are just super weak. If the game really wants to be kind though, it'll give us the key like soon. The 
blizzards are so easy, man. They're just, <laughs> they're so slow. If you got like cornered by one of them, it would really suck, but otherwise, like, yeah. Mm, just money. Map could come in handy. Probably not, though. We have no healing fountain either right now. That's, that sucks. Key? No key. Come on, one of you guys drop a key. Run, run. The magic seems to kind of like stun a little bit too. Not as much as the hammer maybe, but a little bit. Just still like handy to have. You know, she was as fast as a machine gun. <laughs> She'd be pretty freaking good, I'm just saying. Uh, blizzard. I wonder... Customize, no, attribute. I have like so much more holy though. 31. Hmm. Fifty, okay, yeah. Holy's better. I don't know if it's a weakness thing or if it's just because of how much higher the number is. Like, we just have much more holy power on this ring than we do firepower. So it very well could be that on and of itself. Hear that or everything on these freaking floors really is just weak to holy, which maybe. Gotta stop guarding. Bro, come on, stop guarding. Ah, what I walked into it. I had a freaking okay. Freaking splash effect. Can you figure out how to get around that chest? Or can I shoot around the chest? Why did I unlock? Thank God. Still no key though. Game hate me. Of course there'd be one enemy on the other side of this door. MP? Is that white or is that yellow? That looks like white. Oh, and it's a blizzard. We're gonna be here a sec. I don't know why, like, sometimes it does so much more than other times. Like, 56, 51, 49. Like, why the variance? Do they have, like, weak points that we're accidentally hitting? Or is it just... Like, attacks do a range of damage instead of just a set amount of damage. I'm guessing it's probably the range thing, but I don't know. Hello! Ugh, I'm actually a little thirsty, not gonna lie. I want, like, uh, I don't know, to sleep. <laughs> That's what I want. I am tired! Ah, water. Delicious, delicious water. Wooter. Okay. <sighs> Alright, we're fine. Let's get into it. Let's fight people now. Did we repair first? Nah, it's fine. We have a few shots left. Can one of these enemies please just give us the freaking the key that we need to get out of here, though. That would be so helpful. Like you, Mr. Hart. Do you want to drop a key for me? Five, four, three, three, two. We can probably shoot one more time, but I'm scared. Just repair. Come on, dude. One of you guys gotta drop a key. 
Are we seriously gonna have to kill everybody? Customize, take this off. Give you more MP. Because your power is kind of in your magic. Upgrade. And then re equip this. And I guess speed, because why not? I was gonna say that speed upgrade like actually felt like it helped. But no, nah, I think it's just placebo. <gasps> Key! Oh, you bastard. Whatever. Don't care. Leaving. <laughs> Goodbye. I do not care. I don't care what's in them chests. I don't care about those last two enemies. I just want to get the hell out of here. Oh, God. But next, we're probably going to have this dude. Wonder, do we think people are susceptible to poison down here? He has no MP. So, like, the attribute... Even if we gave him attributes, it's not going to matter. I don't know, does... Does the Sun Gem give MP as well, or does it just give... Uh, like, 10 to all attributes? I don't know off the top of my head. To the next floor. Maybe I should have left and saved first. I don't know. I don't know, man. Um, quick you customize. It's not our strongest weapon. It's not even our fastest. I mean, I guess we'll try it first. See if people are susceptible to poison, and if they are, is it any good? Because if the poison doesn't, like, deal quick damage, then I guess it doesn't really matter. It's not going to help us anyways. No, it gave us no MP. So, I mean, like, we can leave wind attached <laughs> as the attribute thing. And, like, I don't know how the math actually works. It might not just be a one-to-one, -one, like, you know. You have 50 attribute, multiply that by MP. Oh, my God. And one of the first things we're fighting is a freaking dragon. Look how fast our freaking endurance is going down, too. That is absolute garbage. Okay. I didn't see how much damage we were actually doing each hit. It wasn't a terrible amount. But holy hell, man. We would blow through all of our repair powder and then some in no time. equip the same stuff. Wait, I forgot to... I forgot to change the equipped item. Or weapon, whatever. Oh, we're about to die. Um, okay. Eat food. So no die. And then, I guess more than Dran's Feather, we're going to need Revival Powder equipped. Come on, unfreeze. Unfreeze. Bro, we should have saved. Oh my god, dude. <laughs> oh, this sucks. Major balls. Okay, item. Uh, I guess we have to eat more food. Okay. We'll come back to this room, maybe. Are there any other enemies we can fight first? Like ones that aren't freaking dragons? That's not bad. 109 damage, though, per hit. So it's not a terrible weapon. Again, though, I'm pretty sure these cards are super weak, but still. It's amazing how slow we move, man. I'm so used to running around with Dran's Feather. 
that now when we don't have a Dran's Feather, it feels wrong. Like, really wrong. Freaking another dragon, dude? Come on, somebody give me a key that's not a dragon, please. Uh, why can't I fight, like... No, another... Seriously, as soon as... Mm, they have freaking, like, wall hacks or something, man. Dragons everywhere. What's the other enemy in this room? It's an Alexander, which is still gonna freaking suck. We have to eat more food. Because I'm pretty sure, yeah, it's gonna. S uh, I guess one hit wouldn't have instant killed us, but pretty freaking close. And we got poison too by the Alexander. <laughs> this floor sucks. Don't get hit by the freaking dragon, please. The dragon might kill us if it hits us. Oh my god. Bro. This sucks. We were missing, what, like, one freaking food before we got here? Oh, <gasps> is that a freaking key? No, it's just a freaking item. Oh, my God. I can't take on two of them at the same time. At the very least, I'm going to need to try and get them separated somehow. Is it possible to get one loaded and leave the other one unloaded? Okay, so it applies enough stun that, like, it completely stun locks them as long as we can keep hitting. But as soon as we have to stop hitting, probably because our endurance is so freaking low... Then we're screwed. Uh, I mean, not screwed. We just got to, like, run away for a moment. Can you use, like, your ice attack before I get over here? Why do you have so little endurance, man? Can we equip more endurance on you? Or, like, no, we have nothing of the sort. Uh, and that's the key. Thank freaking God, that's the key. All right, where's the door? Have we found it yet? We have not. I don't, I'm gonna, I mean, we're passing the chest. I'll pick up the chest. Oh, we might end up needing that anyways. Oh no, I think that's, yeah. We already found that. We have to go through that door, it looks like. So we needed to open that chest. Ignoring this guy, I'm gonna ignore that other chest too. Not freaking worth potentially dealing with that dragon. Nothing they drop is going to be worth freaking the possibility of death. There's no way. Same with that Alexander. No. Hell no. Getting thirsty, bro. You come from the desert. You should be used to it. Get over it. <laughs> You'll live until you get out of here. We're going to... We're definitely going to leave and save after this. That looks like an Alexander. We're not, we're not, mm -mm, not dealing with no Alexanders, man. Just redeemed Alexanders are the way. <laughs> he thirsty, not me. I'm okay. Although I did buy some like salt and vinegar chips the other day. So like my mouth isn't dry, but it has like that weird dry feeling. I know you wouldn't understand, but, like, <laughs> happens when I eat too many salt and vinegar chips or just, I guess, just, like, it, sour stuff in general because it just kind of destroys your mouth a little bit. And so, like, yeah, anyways, so you wouldn't understand. It's fine, though. 
don't know if anybody understands. It's probably just me, because I'm freaking weird, but, like... <laughs> We technically have 10 minutes left in stream. I'm going to try and finish this tonight, though. I I want to finish this game, and I was really hoping to start Pokemon today, too, but it looks like Pokemon is going to have to wait until next week um, to be started. But I think we're going to be able to make it through this. I have nothing to sell. I guess because we've been on those stupid floors. How much are antidotes? You don't sell antidotes. That sucks. Um... Oh, that's 130. Wait, didn't we get another, like, crappy weapon for for our guy? I already have a name picked out for Squirtle. What if... I'm a little scared. What is it? But also, what if we don't get Squirtle? We're going to have to decide how we're going to randomize that, too. I could just roll, like, a D20 or, like, use a randomizer online or something like that. Um, but, like, guys are so sad. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> That's actually pretty good. <laughs> that's good. GG. Uh, okay, that's 200. Uh, we don't need two swallows. Wink. Um, okay. So that gives us a thousand. How are we looking on Dran's feathers? We have four. Well, three, I guess, because one in inventory. Let's buy food. Five, six, seven. You'll be sad if we don't. I mean, like, Squirtle was my very first Pokemon, so I definitely wouldn't mind getting a Squirtle. Uh, the last playthrough I did of Red that I finished a handful of months ago or whatever, I used Bulbasaur. So personally, I guess I'm kind of hoping for Charmander, just because it'll be different than, like... <laughs> nah, I was going to say my last two runs, but, like, I've definitely played the game since I was a child. So I guess that's kind of a lie. Uh, <laughs> I'm fine with whoever, though. Whoever the hell we get is who we get, and that's fine by me. I like all the Pokemons, so... Or Pokemons. Let's say Pokemons, because... <laughs> yeah. Oh, we could do Trainer ID. I forgot all about that. Yeah, we could do Trainer ID, actually. That's not a bad idea at all. Um, How are we on water? We're good on water? Yes. We just buy more food then? Just max out on however much food we can buy. Uh, equip our food. Where's the rest of it at? Here we go. Okay. And, oh, one more thing. One more thing. Take this out, put this in, and save. Definitely freaking save. I never want to have to redo that floor again. I'm assuming it's going to force us into using the last guy now, but the last guy I don't mind. He's one of my favorite freaking characters to use, so. He's really not bad at all. 356. What floor is this? It'll tell us once we get in there, I guess, huh? But we're trying to go back 400 years, so we ought to be getting pretty freaking close now. It's starting to get chilly in here. 23. So wait, are there two more floors? Oh, I didn't realize we had enough to finish two more rooms, too. Holy crap, okay. We have cutscenes. Birth of the Demon. Some, excuse me. Something was born for me. Something evil and powerful. <clears throat> Black blood in me gave a birth to the devil. My endless hatred and bitterness from losing you is his energy. So wait, are we gonna... Are we gonna swap them? Because he said something about, like, it should have been him that died, not her. So is that his plan? To go back in time and get him to be the one murdered? First my kingdom fell, then you. I lost both you and my country. I lost everything. Everything. I lost... what? <laughs> no. No. That's not it. What I really lost was myself. Bruh. Alright, this one should be quick. 
Oh, we need to re-equip our stuff, though. Wait, are you dead? Okay. <laughs> you, like, fell in a really weird way. Customize. This is the only piece I really care about. Uh, I mean, whatever. We'll take the speed. Unless... Do we already have stuff equipped on you? Oh, that's right. We have the diamond. Um... You're not ready to upgrade, are you? Oh, you are ready to upgrade. Hold on, take this off then, and then put on... I guess it really doesn't matter. Put on that. I don't really care at this point. Just upgrade, confirm. Build up. How close are you? Everything but two. Metal and stone. Is there anything that gives metal and stone? There's metal, the diamond, which gives five to all, and ten to metal. So maybe another diamond if we happen to somehow get ten thousand, or ten thousand, another three thousand. And just throw the last three things we have on you, because whatever. Okay. And with him, we can actually, like, collect stuff and whatnot. I don't mind as much. So I don't expect to really struggle getting through it with him. I mean, I still might not collect literally everything once we get the key, just because is 857. Uh, wrong button. Forgot how game worked. I mean, all these amulets are worth something. If they want to keep dropping those, that's fine. I wish we could get, like, the steal ability on him. That'd be pretty sick. Have him and Zhao just running around thieving everybody. Oh, reload. Nothing. Bastard. Oh, lock on, please. Oh, you dick! Good thing we bought all that food! <laughs> food? Thank you. Um, We didn't pick up the black key yet, right? No, okay. Go ahead and fix his weapon. We don't need a min max, it. it's fine. I wonder how they selected, like, what enemies each character would be facing on their floor. Or if it is, like, somewhat randomized. Like, maybe they expected... Ungaga to be more powerful than Osmond or something? I don't know. Like, for us, that's obviously not the case at all. but maybe they think the ranged characters will be able to take on more powerful enemies than the... Or, no, the other way around. <laughs> the the melee characters would be able to take on more powerful enemies than the ranged characters. There's the map. Oh, we already found the exit. Ah, whatever. We'll do a full clear of the floor. Um, well, full clear is in, like, chests and stuff, not as in murder. Actually, never mind, because we have to go through a door to get over there, and best case scenario, that chest has something that gives me, like, 200 gold. And we don't need that last 200 gold that much, I promise. Alright, so this should be second to last floor, because I'm assuming last floor is going to be boss fight. It's the way it usually works, at least. Uh, let's give Zhao a chance, actually, for the steals. Oh, wait. Bro, I'm dumb. I keep forgetting. To take this, at least. I don't care about the rest of it, but that at least is pretty good. 
Customize that. That's a big damage increase. I can't fit through that gap? Bro, that gap is huge. What do you mean I can't fit? That's stupid. That name doesn't suit him? Uh, sure. We'll upgrade Steve. Okay, does anybody have anything equipped to them? I wish there was a quicker way to check. So I would like to give him something. I don't even care what. Here you go. Have some ice, Super Steve. <laughs> like, just might as well make the most of it, right? Upgrade. Confirm. Customize. Drop that on you. Repair before you break. Jump across the gap. And then back to murder. God, it's so freaking good, man. Meh. Oh, one hit KO. Oh, yeah. What are you asking if I used to be a human? It's none of your business. Is, that, is there like actual Steve lore? <laughs> like, like I wonder if we looked it up. If if does Steve have a real backstory? How? What is Steve, man? I swear he's like some sort of deity or something, and and freaking slingshot form. Oh, that's right. There's Atla on this floor. <laughs> I kind of forgot about that. Okay. Sand glass? Okay. Oh, is that part of, like, the time travel thing? The sand glass? Departure? Okay. Not 100% sure. I mean, departure, if it is part of the, like... Oh, God. There's a freaking dragon here somewhere. Want to change color too? The next color will be a rainbow? Can you... Can you change color? That would be pretty cool, man. Just RGBify Super Steve. Every time you shoot, he turns another color. Ew. Alright, switch to Ruby, and that looks like fire. Of course, you don't have fire. This one has fire. Good shot. Oh, hi! <laughs> He has the same name as the mayor of my village. Bro, he has to be a freaking, or had to have been human at one point. Unless, is there a whole village of, of Steve's? Of just sentient? Bro, it's so weird having it level up so quickly. Um, is there just a whole village of sentient slingshots? Like, I mean, I guess he could have been maybe some other kind of creature, not necessarily human. Because, like, I guess you could have, like, a village of raccoons or something, right? Like, it doesn't have to be humans. There's the way down, but... One, I don't think we've gotten the key. And two, we gotta make sure to get all the Atla. Oh, really? The chest should have made us immune, man. We were in the middle of grabbing the thingy. That sucks. Oh, I didn't realize... Well, I probably would have healed anyways, to be honest. I say I didn't realize there was a revival thing right here, but... 
Oh crap, there's... Okay. All the way at the beginning, there's an Atla and a... And an enemy, and a chest. One of everything. So we're gonna have to run all the way back. Uh, we need her back to get across the cap. Well, her Osmond, one or the other. That's a dragon again. I mean, honestly, though, not that big of a deal. It was only a big deal at that one point because we had freaking Umgaga over here stabbing a dragon with a spear, like. Bruh. So assuming the next floor is the boss floor, then that should be every Atla in the game. Done. You. You. Book. And crystal ball. Profit. Looks like a crystal ball to me. Huh. <sighs> There is one way. I don't care if I scar the world. I will stop him and get everything back. Everything. Oh. That was a super short freaking cutscene. And also, that kind of makes you sound like a bad guy, too. Just saying. Not the best attitude to have about it, man. Like, I get wanting your shit back. Your, your country and everything. But, like... To potentially destroy the world in the process... That just doesn't sound like... Is it, is it really worth it, my guy? That's all I'm saying. What's the point of having a country if the world's destroyed? It's the classic, like, supervillain thing. The world scorned me, so I'm gonna destroy the world, rule over it all? Like, right, what are you gonna rule over if it's all fucking dead? It makes no sense. Uh, buy some stuff. Sell. Sell. We shouldn't need... Uh, I'll keep the escape powder, I guess, instead of selling it. But we shouldn't need it at this point. We might need the revival powder. How many revival powder do we have? Well, first off, I guess, let's... Check in items. We shouldn't need this much water. I'm gonna keep one row of water keep all my healing items we shouldn't need like any escape powder I'll take one just in case but if it's the end we shouldn't really need it we shouldn't need power up powder I mean we could use it just for shits and giggles I guess um we might need a couple of Drance feathers I'll take a couple with us and then Bombs are just, like, strong. Although, at this point, our regular weapons are so strong, I'm not really sure bombs are worth it anymore. But we'll take those anyways. We have two stand-in powder. So that's three, four, two, one, two, one, two. So we want to buy two more... What was it? Two more revival? Two more stand-in powders to have an equal amount of stand-in and revival. How are we on repair powder? We have five. Depending. Okay. Um. Wait, which one do we need? Revival or stand-in? One, two, three, eight, six. So we need two stand-in powders. few more repair powders a bunch of food however much honestly probably just however much food we can afford at this point point. and that's pretty much a full inventory save oh fresh save brand new save man just in case that all was like a huge mistake right there Go up the ramp, please. But I think we should be pretty well prepared. 
for this boss fight. Night of Incident. You're ruler of this kingdom now. Those are my father's last words. Then I asked my father who had shut his eyes for the last time. Father, tell me, if I am to be king, what am I to accomplish? I met you the night of the ceremony. The ceremony where I was to officially become king. Your blue eyes when I saw them. Wait, is this all the shit we just saw? Yeah, it's all the shit we just saw. Okay. <laughs> so I guess we didn't have to watch them as we unlock them. I think the text is slightly different for some reason. Just slightly, but it, like, it seems like there may have been a line or two that wasn't there, or at least a couple words that were changed. There's only one way to do it. I don't care if I destroy space and time in the process. I will do it. I will stop and I'll take back everything, everything I lost, all of it. Yeah, see, like, it didn't say anything about space and time last time, I don't think. And before we have to use him to kill the guy. <laughs> like, uh, I'm really hoping we can use all of our friends. Final bass, ba bass battle. Final boss battle is just a QTE. Hee <laughs> hee, you want to break rules and change history? Interesting. Let's see how you do. Open the door to the past and realize how powerless you are. Okay. <laughs> I mean, that's what we came here for. That is the plan, man. I mean, hopefully not the powerless part. You know, we are kind of hoping to win the fight. But, like, we're going to open the door and see what happens at least. That's the plan. Was it really the right thing to do? We won. Then why do I feel this darkness about me? So wait, is that the would-be murderer, or is that actually the lover? I'm, I don't know what's going on anymore. Seta, you're alive! Sophia, I'm so relieved. The war is over. The killing is over. That's, that's wonderful. There shall be no more bloodshed. No, and together now, we'll rebuild our kingdom. Yeah. Oh. Oh. Sophia, what's going on? Oh, Sophia's? Said to be careful, it's probably an assassin from the West. Disguised as me to sneak into the castle and destroy you. Who are you? Reveal yourself. Said to know you're mistaken. I'm Sophia. I don't believe you. Sophia's right here. So wait, the first one that came in is the fake one, right? Yeah. Set a watch out. Who are you? I'm me! What do you mean? So wait, this would be like a weakened Dark Genie too, right? Like... Or just Assassin? from the west despicable coward prepare to die oh, thank you for the five bits oh wait is she gonna get killed anyways bruh wait that wasn't the plan hold on 
Said, please wake up. This assassin is not from the west, but from here. You won the war, but you lost something important. What? How could this be? Sophia? Why you? I don't care who you are. You'll pay dearly for this. I'm so confused. So... <laughs> Wait, she dies anyways? <laughs> We've defeated the West, but our people are spent. Set up, please protect our people, and once again, be... Be a good and noble king, please. Well, that's sad. Who, who are you? Did you come to kill me too? So you hate me too? Fine, go ahead and kill me. Nope. So wait, maybe we can't save her, but we just killed the slightly weaker genie in the past? But wouldn't that change the entire... Doesn't all of this change the future? Time travel, man, screws everything up. Why? What is going on? Oh. Oh, hi. <laughs> you look different. Ah, oh, you failed, boy from the future. You failed to change history. The infinite power given to me can drink up the very flow of time. Beyond time, I will reign over all. As long as human hatred runs pure and clear, I will exist without end. This never-ending flow of dark power will see me to the pinnacle of all that stands. Now come, kneel before me. I didn't get the last word. I, it might have said stand. It might not have said stand. I have no idea. It's fine. Whatever. So wait, how do we kill you? <laughs> Is there a trick to it? Oh god, okay. <laughs> this is <laughs> this is okay. The fight has started. Can I switch characters please? <laughs> oh god, okay. Can I like walk on to anybody? Are we just trying to survive right now? Maybe we're just trying to survive right now. Cuz I can't seem to lock on or deal any damage. Oh, wait, no effect, though. So we hit it, but had no effect? Is it... Are you immune to holy? Or are you just immune to damage in general? Oh, no, that dealt damage! Let's go! Sucks that you're immune to holy, though. Wait, no effect. Ow! Um, okay. Okay. Hold on. So if you're immune to fire the second time, then I guess it doesn't really matter which one we use. Well, I guess you have more fire than holy. For items, though, maybe... Maybe the bombs would be useful? Let's try it with the bomb nuts first. Come on, do the thing again. Mm, no, I think we need to be able to lock on for it to have any real effect. No effect again. So is it only like as it's going into the ground? Oh, what? That hit us? Why is it sometimes hit and sometimes not? Ah! Oh my god. I hate everything. This might be a job for Goro. Maybe. No effect. Maybe not. How do? I don't 
perfect again. Do we need to hit, like, the eye specifically? But, like, it's there for such a short period of time, though. No effects. What attribute do we have equipped right now? Is it holy again? Maybe he is immune to holy? You would think with him being dark, though, he wouldn't be immune to it. Nope, no effect. Yeah, we missed. And how do we, like, block that? Because we can only block when we're locked on to something. Like, seriously, though, like, we can't... Oh, my God. Game, you suck. Can we throw bombs at him? No. Oh, that dealt damage. That actually dealt a decent amount of damage, too. Okay. So it works sometimes. I just don't understand what determines if it works or not. And then not being able to block his attack at all because we can't lock on is really freaking dumb. Like, maybe we can avoid it somehow? What color is the eye? Pink? Does that matter? What if we just don't deal any attribute damage? What if it's just regular freaking... like, neutral damage. I mean, I don't know how much damage that did, but it did hit him. Now the eye's yellow, so maybe it is, like, a weakness thing or something. Now it's pink again. Problem is, I have to, like, be able to hit it. I think that's at 100 and something. I do think Goro's probably the right move for this. Although, I don't know. Yeah, probably. It's gonna say, like, if we... If the trick is, is just to do neutral damage, we could unequip the attribute from, like, the machine gun, too, and still use the machine gun. And it might be a little easier to hit him without getting hit back. But we'd be dealing so much less damage in the process per hit. Cause, like it's up for such a brief moment that still bothers the hell out of me that we can't block that like that's just cheap is there anything else we should have equipped right now i don't know if having revival powder equipped actually matters or not but Uh, repair. We might end up needing more than 10 repair powder, which would suck. 260 per hit, though. It seems pretty good. Question is, I guess, how much health does this freaking dude have? Or his hand have? Because I'm assuming this is just stage one, right? Like, after we beat the hand, we're probably still going to have to fight him, him, or something. Go ahead and use our last stamina drink, too. Oh no, you missed, you bastard. Come on, summon some hands. Let's go. Thirst has reached its limit. Okay. Drink some water. Oh, 
couple more stamina drinks, I guess, would have been a nice idea, too, but... I mean, we're still doing, like, 130 per hit. Even without stamina drink, it's still pretty decent, I feel like. Oh, did that work? Nope. Or wait, maybe he has a hand, like, for each element? Because that one looked like it died whenever we just hit it. Like, it looked like it was disappearing, fading out of existence or something. So we have a red one. The problem is I didn't pay attention to, like, what color it was whenever it got hit. Oh, goodness. Is he winding again? Yellow. So red and yellow. Couldn't see what color that one was. Yellow again. Wind. This looks... Uh, maybe? Yep. Eat some food. We're gonna end up running out of food, and we gotta hope the revival powder, like, puts in some work or something. Yellow again. Come on, dude, just freaking hit me with your hands or whatever. Pink. It's red, yellow, pink. So I guess the only color we're missing right now is green. So now I don't know if it actually did disappear. Fix the weapon before it breaks. Repair. Maybe. I mean, we haven't seen the green pop up in a while. But I don't feel like we did as much damage to the green as we did some of the other ones. So I don't know why it would have disappeared first, unless it's like... The different colors have different amounts of health? Maybe? There's red again. You're a bastard. Good miss, good miss. Oh my god, this dude freaking sucks. Why do I keep missing? <laughs> Just turn around and hit the freaking hand. There we go. Oh, okay. That was a red one that just disappeared, I think. Uh, hold on, need to equip revival powder again. Ah, uh, you're a dick. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Is he alive? Like, alive as in we can shoot him? Let's freaking go, dude. Oh. There's got to be a way to, like, block that freaking damage, though. Oh. Uh. Yeah, there's got to be, like, a better way to do this. Put more revival powder, I guess. I guess heal. This freaking unblockable damage, though, man. We're about to get hit. Um, swap to a character I don't care about to take the hit. And then swap back to... Well, actually, let's try Zhao, because Zhao has a more powerful attack. Only did 48, though. Attribute. Holy is active. He wouldn't be resistant, right?
Uh, okay, yeah, it didn't seem to do any more. He might just be super resistant to damage in general. Okay, yeah, we gotta start switching back to other people to take the hits again. Uh, Ungaga, where'd you go? You're my take a hit guy. <laughs> Wait, what did I get hit by? Oh, the wind attack? I didn't even know the wind attack was happening. Um, God, that can take another hit. Oh, he's doing, well, you know what? He's gonna do the wind attack again, though. What is the guard button? Does it work? against him. It doesn't seem to work against anybody else. Okay, well, apparently I was within the line of fire. You stand in powder. Switch to... I guess Ruby? Seriously? <laughs> How is that, like, AoE so big? Uh, you stand in powder, switch to me. I just want to know if the freaking wind can be blocked. Will you please wind again? Are you going to refuse to wind? All right, well, if he's going to refuse to wind, then I guess we go back... To Zhao. Oh my god, I walked into it! And now he's doing the freaking wind, man! Come on! Oh. Item. Revival powder. Put some up here. Give some to Gaga. He can be our hit guy. I don't care about Ruby. I do care about Zhao, though. Thank you for another five bits. More good luck. I mean, we'll see about that. <laughs> oh, God. Um, yeah, what's going to happen if I... Which one are you doing? I don't know which attack he's about to do. was that one. So now that that's done, switch back to her, maybe? I, I just have to assume that after every time I hit, he's gonna freaking wind us. Which does not seem to be freaking blockable. Oh, ba -bum -bum -bum. Switch back to her again. I should actually see, like, who has the most... Um, oh my god. I hate everything about this dude right now. Oh my god. I hate you so much. Um, we should figure out who has the most defense, probably, and use them as the, the hit guy. But, like, uh... There's got to be a better way than what I'm doing here. Like, this wind, there has to be some way to block this wind or something. It can't just be take the hit and freaking like it, like... Like, blocking does nothing! <laughs> And then she took a hit too. 
uh, swap before you die. I don't know what attack's about to happen. I can't see. I'm assuming wind's about to happen again. Yep. Okay, so after the wind happens, we gotta like give it a second. Otherwise, like it'll still be in the middle of the wind, I guess. Wait, is this... I can't tell which attack this is. Okay, good, it's that one. We're dealing, like, so little damage, too, man. Okay, hold on. A couple things we need to do. Do we have any food left? No. Oh, wait, we do. Gaga, eat some food before you die. Put some food on the hot bar. Grab one of our last revival powders excuse me select can we just get to the next phase I, I didn't mind the first phase that bad you know I didn't love the first phase but it was a hell of a lot better than this this, I just don't understand what we're meant to actually be doing. Because this feels wrong. This does not feel right at all. So I guess main dude actually has the most defense. But everybody's actually pretty similar on the defense front. I freaking walked into it. Uh, allies, real quick before we get hit. Which. Oh my god, of course he did it twice. Is there like a mirror or something we could use to bounce his hit back at him? His eye beam? Last revival powder. We have no food left, so I guess we might as well have this equipped to help us run quicker. Not that I think running actually helps at all yet, no. <laughs> like, doesn't really mean, doesn't really matter how quickly we get away from them. We just, we just get hit. Ooh, no, no, no. Now we hit him before he got his eye beam off. Is that gonna matter at all? Nope. Was that our last revival powder? That was last revival powder. Bro, it's 940. Why is this fight not over yet? <laughs> Hair powder on Steve and then switch. If anybody's gonna die, I'd prefer it to be Ungaga. I 
I was hoping maybe we could hit him like in between attacks, but no. Ooh. Like maybe we could stun him or something. So he didn't get as many attacks off, but that doesn't seem to work either. Oh, goodbye, Ungaga. Nice knowing you, buddy. You stand in powder. Um, I'm worried if Ungaga pops back up right now. Oh, or not Ungaga. Zhao, that she'll get hit by that. So that was, yeah. I'm gonna freaking look him up, dude. <laughs> I'm like, ah! I don't want to have to redo this whole thing again. I was gonna wait and see if we lost first, but I'm like so annoyed right now with him. This is <laughs> a terrible boss fight. Dark Cloud, Dark Genie fight. Dark Genie, R slash Dark Cloud. Uh. Yeah, no, that's literally... <laughs> It literally just says, use stamina pots to try and maximize damage. When he's about to hit, you switch to another party member so that you divide the damage among them. It does say to use no attributes on phase one and phase two. that deal more damage, though? I'm not sure that actually dealt any more damage. Wait, why'd he take two hits from it? That sucked. Was it because I went into the menu? Nah, it's doing, like, the same. So might as well use attributes. Weapon, or not weapon. Uh, well, yeah, no weapon. Re-equip the attribute. Attribute. Holy, because why not? And switch. Oh, he used the freaking wind attack again. Uh, I don't know who has health left. Don't use wind again. Use freaking wind again. You stand in powder. We only have one range character left. That dealt one damage, didn't it? And he's dead. That's GG. We literally can't do anything with the rest of the people. Ah, okay. Restart. Thank goodness for saves, man. Um, so wait, what did we do? We, um, hmm. So we can sell the bombs maybe this time because the bombs don't seem to be helping at all. We need more food. If we had more food, we could use less Revival Powder. And then I guess more Stamina Pots? People are suggesting Ruby, so we'll see how much damage Ruby deals, but honestly, Zhao, 
might be my best bet, just because we don't have a really good weapon for Ruby. But we can try Ruby. Like, there's nothing stopping us. Like, why not? We can see the damage numbers and see how much she, she deals. Um, oh, you don't sell stamina pots? Does anybody deal stamina pots? Also, he doesn't seem to inflict status, so we don't need all of these either. Escape powder will be useless. Dran's feathers mostly useless. Food would come in handy, but gems attachments. How do you not sell stamina pots? Does anybody? Dark cloud stamina drain. Use gem. Uh, stamina drink. Oh, that's Dark Cloud 2. Only from Susie's store if you picked Freshen Up, Warrior, or Miracle. So, no, we can't buy stamina drinks. <laughs> oh, okay. Well. I guess we're saving our stamina drinks. What's cheaper? That's 130, but it's a full heal. That's 100, but only a half heal. Yeah, I think we're better off using as much chicken as possible. Okay, try one more time. If we don't get it this time, we're probably just gonna have to do the last fight next week, as much as I freaking hate to do that. <laughs> but it's already 9.48. We're like an hour late already. Is there a cutscene skip? I can't remember if there's cutscene skip in this game or not. Oh god, there's not. <laughs> oh, good. Skip, 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 skip. So, okay, so we'll save the, we'll, we'll try Ruby first, right? And we'll see how Ruby does as far as damage. If Ruby does decent, like better than Zhao damage, with her attack in the second phase, then we'll use Ruby with Stamina Drink. If not, then we'll use Zhao with Stamina Drink, probably. And then for the final phase, whatever that is, I guess we just gotta hope for the best. See what the hell happens. Bruh. I wish there was a cutscene skip. Thanks. <laughs> then why isn't he dead? He should be dead. I mean, he's the final boss. I didn't expect him to be easy. But, like... I also didn't expect so much bullshit. I mean, I probably should have. Like, every other boss in this game is bullshit. Half of them are fine. The other half are just... Ugh. Ugh. Stupid. I'm really surprised that the last shop in the game doesn't sell freaking stamina pots, though. You would think it would, man. It sells all other kinds of, like, super strong stuff.
like all the the gems and the the full heals and all of that stuff but not the freaking stamina drinks like Oh no, she got killed again. Ah. <laughs> oh my god. Throw him off the ledge, get rid of him, turn into a massive asshole. Come on, you already know how this all works. nothing else we have a lot more heals this time so even if we do just as good as last time we should be able to last longer at least <laughs> like maybe we can just out survive his bullshit there was one person on reddit that said that if you're using a stamina pot you don't take damage from the wind i don't know for sure if i believe that or not but maybe i guess we'll find out whenever we get to the second phase again At least now we know what the hell we're doing in the beginning, too, so it shouldn't take, like, as long. So there'll be less running and taking, just running away and taking damage for no reason, and more, like, actually doing stuff, getting stuff done. Item, okay, Transfeather, useless to us right now. Stamina pots? No. What am I? What am I wanting? Not food. Revival powder. Equip a revival powder. And not item. Switch to Goro. And then weapon. Attribute unequip. We want no attributes. I think we can get one more hitman still before we... Yeah, now we have to fix it. Okay, weapon. Air powder. The wind is still such bullshit, dude. Why give him an unblockable attack? <laughs> like, that's just... That's stupid. That's, like, worse than an instant death pit in a game, you know? With, like, bullshit enemy placement. Like, classic NES games. That's... Mm, that's right up there with that, if not worse. And he just did it three times in a freaking row, man. Like, come on, attack me. Like, actually attack me. Do something so I can hurt you. Or try to, at least. Should be freaking whack-a-mole professionals at this point, though, honestly. Is he gonna wind us again? What's he doing? Nope. It's kind of hard to hit him whenever we're on our, our turn. Yeah, if you're hungry, go ahead. I, I could eat.
Come on, dude. Something. Thank you. One more hit. Uh, technically, I guess we can get one more in. Um, hmm. Probably a bad time to pause. I was like, well, if he's not going to do anything, then we might as well just go ahead and fix it. But now it seems like he's going to attack. There we go. It's fine. We got it. I don't know what stage three, phase three is gonna be like, man. That's what I'm worried about. Phase one, not bad besides the bullshit wind. Honestly, phase two, not too bad besides the bullshit wind. Um, it's just phase two, we deal a lot less damage, so we gotta deal with it a lot longer. But phase three, I have no idea what's gonna happen in phase three, man. There's one hand down. Still got one more, though. Might as well go ahead and drink water while we're waiting for him to do whatever he's about to do. Nice. Yes, keep doing hands. Don't do wind. Oh, that's wind. <laughs> Shouldn't have said anything. Come on, come on, come on. That's wind again. Okay, that's wind again. You're a dick. One more hit. Fix the weapon to be safe. Might as well go ahead and re-equip more food. A repair powder. Again. Come on, man. What happened to whack a mole professionals? Guy? Anything? No. Nope. <laughs> I guess I'd rather nothing than that. Okay, that's two dead. So when two die, I'm pretty sure that's it. We'll take the wind hit and then... Okay, well, I didn't mean for that to happen, but I didn't realize he was gonna use that twice in a row. Use the eye beam. Use the eye beam, please. Do we have to hit him first for him to freaking do it? Uh, hold on. Weapon. Crystal wing. A wing? Crystal ring. I think that's our most powerful one, right? Yeah. Customize. Okay, who currently has the the thing? The the sun gem thing. Is it Super Steve? It's Super Steve. Gotta give it the best chance possible. So customize. Pack up, that up. Now, people said to unequip attributes, but we cannot remove them from this weapon, so. What is that? That's 28? Okay, so Zhao's better. Not by a ton, but Zhao's better and uses less stamina. Customize. Take this stuff back off. Uh, 
Customize, put this all on you. And then item. So now that we know for sure Zhao's better, equip a stamina pot and another revival powder in case we mess up. Oh, it did do zero damage. I mean, that's helpful, but stamina pots only last so long. stamina pot our last one and then it's back to just constant switching and praying well i guess like depending how much damage she takes per hit of the wind i guess we could just let like heal her up constantly instead the donut that i gave you last night and told you was yours yeah it's yours <laughs> weird how much wind he's doing right now. I don't know if it has something to do with the fact that we have stamina up or what, or had stamina up, I guess. We don't now, sadly. Okay, how much damage? 38, so about the same as, what's his name? don't know if it's actually... Yeah, it doesn't seem like we can actually hit him until after he does some kind of attack. It doesn't seem to matter which one, really. But we have to let him hit us first. Before we can hit him. Which is stupid, but I mean, I guess it's just the way it works. Wait. Wait, was that it? That was so much freaking shorter than last time. And we had to have hit him so many more times. Either, like, either the stamina pot really increased the amount of damage that we were doing a ton, or that's just freaking stupid. <laughs> like, we got so many attacks in on him last time, man. Uh, okay. It's now final phase. How do we... Okay, well... Are we trying to kill these guys, or...? I'm stuck. Help. I feel like we should probably be using a melee fighter at this point. Like Goro. Okay, yeah. And then we want to dodge that, get up, hit him. Whichever foot this comes out of, dodge it. These bodies on the ground really freaking make things harder. If we just keep this pattern up of going back and forth, I think we'll be okay. What is this? This is different. I don't know what that was. Oh, wait, they're back. Can we just keep dodging them, though? No. No, we cannot. Not forever, at least. <laughs> run away, run away, run away. Is he gonna come back down? He is gonna come back down. No, lock onto the dark freaking genie. Oh my god. 
Okay, maybe we should kill them first. Uh, I don't know, maybe... Maybe this pattern's worth it? Is he doing the charge attack again? He's doing the charge attack again. I'm stuck, help. Just in case we screw up, we should equip the Revival Powder. We want to get back up close without getting hit would have been nice. Oh god, that's going to hit me. No, it didn't hit me. Item. Take a drink, Goro. Uh, since we're in here, we fiddle our health pot. Oh, oh no! That was kind of garbage. <laughs> I mean, it's fine. I get why we got hit. We were kind of like inside of where he spawns at, but still garbage. Okay, we just want to, like, out-survive the beam. Hit his face. Dodge the thingy. And then it's beam time again. Oh, the beam did not spawn where I thought it was going to spawn, but I think we're fine. It should end now. Let's freaking go. Hit him. Okay. If this is the whole thing, I think we might be okay. I'm in a bad spot for this right now, though. Can I dodge it? Let's go. Can I get to him in time? I can. Um, okay, hold on. If we're going to be using Goro for this, I just realized we should give him the freaking stuff. Which is on Zhao? Thank goodness we got, like, a good weapon for, for Goro right there at the end, dude. Imagine if we were doing, like, 20 damage per hit. We would be so freaking screwed. Um, can we... I can't really think about it, but attribute... I mean, I don't know if it matters, but... Might as well equip some kind of attribute, right? Rival power... Oh, I didn't realize how low on health we were. Oh my god. <laughs> You stand in powder. Bruh. Okay. Use revival powder. Put revival powder up here. Switch characters to Goro. Wait, I instantly freaking died? I can't see. I can't see. Oh, hell yeah. 334? That's so much more freaking damage, dude. That's like an insane amount more. God, if we had been doing that from the beginning, we'd be like set already. Oh shit, we unlocked. I didn't mean to unlock, but we unlocked. Okay, this, like, phase of the fight is kind of a pain in the ass. Where's the beam? There's the beam. Um, and before we forget... 
survival powder on the hot bar. God, I hope this dude doesn't have an insane amount of health. I mean, 334, I feel like, is a pretty good amount of damage to be dealing to somebody. Is that it? That might be freaking it. I think there's only three phases. I seriously freaking hope so, dude. Only over by an hour. <laughs> like... Ugh, indeed you possess great power, but I am immortal. Every time I fall, I will be reborn again. How about no? Don't you see the futility of it? Killing me is wasted energy. A hopeless exercise. I am infinite. Ha 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 ha. Ah. <laughs> me. Who's yelling at me? Was it the fairy king? Fairy king. The genie will return if you don't get rid of Seda's hate energy. Look around you carefully. Can we just use some like revival powder on her? <laughs> Listen up, Shreem. Are we gonna? We're probably gonna use the Atla, right, to like lock it away or something. Atlamilia has the power to seal almost anything in Atla, but its power extends beyond that. Now is the time to use that hidden power, the power to bring a lost soul back. The Atlamilia will be consumed, but with its final power, it can do one thing. It can bring a soul into Atlamilia. It is not too late. Call out for Sophia's wandering soul. Wait, but we literally have revival powder. Why can't we just use the revival powder? <laughs> like, I got some in my inventory right now. Can't we just bring her back with that and keep the magic stone? That's the problem with games having, like, revival items, you know? <laughs> they never freaking use them whenever it counts. Also, shouldn't you have, like, healed her wound first and then brought back her soul? Because if she's still bleeding out, <laughs> is it really going to matter? Going to bring her back just to have her die again instantly? Sorry, I'm nitpicking, <laughs> like, but oof. Wait, are we back home? No, okay, we're back here. Seda. Sophia. I'm I'm alive. Yeah, boy. So it's over now. That evil will never come back to life, at least not for some time. Let's go home. Not for some time, like maybe the next 400 years. That's quite a while, my guy. I don't know. Can you get up? Yes, I'm fine. Seda, where did the boy go? Where indeed? I'm sorry, Sophia. I was wrong. What an empty victory, selling my soul to darkness. What has become of this world now? War-torn, desolate, barren, like a drought-stricken field. Yeah, it was me. It was all my doing. Lying unconscious, I heard the boy call my heart. Okay, where are you going with this? He told me of the journey he had taken. It was a fantastic adventure to create a new world. So do we still have time? Perhaps you as king can create a new world. The point must have come to tell you just that. Actually, I just came to save you and kill the genie. Um, I didn't really plan on telling him anything, to be fair, but... I mean, whatever. You know what? No, it's fine. Whatever helps. If that's what you need to hear to, you know not spawn another dark genie that destroys the world, then sure, that's, yeah, that's what I came for. <laughs> Kingdom free, full of smiling faces, a new history leading to a bright future. 
Aww. Credits? Please tell me credits. Credits, okay. Oh boy. That was a long one. It's good, I do enjoy the game, I d or did enjoy the game. It's good, it's just... Kinda started to drag there towards the end, you know? It's just, it gets a little too samey, especially once I got the ranged characters, cause I mean, sure, I didn't have to use them, but they were just so much easier to use than anybody else that it was like, why wouldn't you? But then it became a matter of basically just spamming attack 90% <laughs> of the time. Uh, the only time that really considered any any major thought was like whenever you would get cornered by dragons or whatever or fight a boss and half of the bosses were honestly not my favorite. So like, yeah. But all in all, it's still a good game. Interesting idea with the whole town building slash RPG thing. That's ooh, that's weird. I don't know who the hell came up with that, but it works, honestly, though. Works better than you would think. Voice actor and actresses? I was gonna say, wait, there's voices in the game, but I guess there's the like, ha, yeah, etc. type sounds that they make. Ah! <laughs> when they get hit and shit. So yeah, there's some voice acting, I suppose. Just not like voice dialogue. Little flashback through all the worlds. I mean, it's better than just having a black screen for the credits to roll over. I'll take it, I guess. Fuck yeah. Charlotte Panther, that's a hell of a name. Ron Eagle, wait, are these real names? I mean, they certainly could be. It's just seeing like two animal names back to back like that. I wasn't, <laughs> wasn't expecting it, I guess. I kind of forgot all about that guy on the left. It's weird like he was the big bad and we didn't really even end up fighting him, you know? We fought the like corrupted version of the, the king. I mean, we fought him very briefly in the, the mech, but like we didn't fight him, you know? It was just cutscene. I'm surprised like the first phase wasn't fighting that version of the genie or something and then, I don't know him turning into his ultimate form or something. Not that we needed four phases of that fight, but like, still, uh, it's just a little surprising to me. Wait, is that it? They didn't show the last two worlds, did they? Oh, we have a cutscene. with the cat that's not dran is it <laughs> like can dran turn into a little cat or was that like our pet was that the king after he traveled through time i'm so confused the fairy king maybe was the fairy king a cat i don't remember i feel like we did see the cat at some point but that was a long time ago i don't remember now <laughs> this is like that was a long long time ago boy the end Hell yeah. I'm excited to try the second one, because I expect the second one to be better. This one wasn't bad, but yeah. A new land is added to the world map. Yeah, so we have like post-game content now, which is really cool, don't get me wrong. Um, but, oh, it already saved, okay. I thought we'd have to like pick a slot or whatever. Um, yeah, and it's something I might do on my own time, but it's not something we're gonna do on stream. Anyways, I'm already like, an hour and 20 minutes late so 
have a good night guys thank you for coming out while we finished uh dark cloud on the ps2 we will be back next week hopefully starting up our uh pokemon red nuzlocke run that's what we rolled for last week thinking that we would get started this time but no luck uh so yeah see you guys in a couple days day tomorrow night maybe yeah see you guys tomorrow night maybe with something on the ps2 or cozy game or something and then hopefully see you next week with pokemon until then have a good night everybody be kind to each other and i'll see you next time bye i'm trying to remember from when we played before but my memory is not great apt deck on the port where is this actually Oh, okay.